Hi, uh, really quick before the video starts, I just want to say that this was all pulled from my Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you want to catch the next game live uh, or some other games over there. Um, this is actually an edited version of those three streams with all the fluff and everything taken out. So if you wanted to see a more, um, if you want to see the game itself, the full game, without seeing all the you know figuring out and walking around doing nothing so this is what that is and i want to say thank you so much for all the support and love that was shown on the last video uh, that was very out of form for me so seeing all the support means that i have done something right and i really enjoyed making it and I, i'm glad that you guys enjoyed watching it so with all that being said let's just get into the video so today we'll be playing secret of shadow ranch Let's just get into it, I guess. Hey, hey. All right. Welcome to my latest case, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. I don't know, man. I guess we should uh play this a few times in the past. I guess we Dear should Hannah, hit it with a Well, I made it to detective. Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. He gave me a phone number, told me to call the Raleigh's at that number as soon as I got settled in, and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely said two words to me the whole ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet, which is very strange, because even though we had to take different flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always their Ooh, dream wow. to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay, but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow Ranch is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. Ooh. Their place is beautiful. Check this out, man. Still fixing up front porch. Use back porch. Dave. Well, thank you, Dave. Winner of the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Hmm. Hmm. Something goes here. You don't say, Nancy. I do know that we need to make some phone calls, so I guess we need to do that. I need to get a notepad. I'm playing senior detective, and I can't cheat on stream. <sighs> All right. We got a notepad. We got our Bepis, which isn't even really Bepis. It's Dr. Thunder, which is a lot better than Dr. Pepper sometimes. There, I said it. Dr. Thunder can be better than Dr. Pepper. City slick as guy to ranch horses. It's the 21st century and they still use horses. <laughs> Let's start making some phone calls. Let's call Bess. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Bess, what you up to? Hi, Bess. It's me. I'm at the ranch. Where are you guys? Omaha. Omaha? No joke, Nancy. We're in Omaha, Nebraska. Our plane had to land here so they could fix some radio problem, and now they're saying... It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, George. Now they're saying we may be here for hours. Well, at least they didn't cancel the flight. Yet. I mean, who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. Just so like the government. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet at all. Are they there at the ranch? Nope. The ranch hand who picked me up told me I could reach them at this phone number he gave me. So what'd they say? <laughs> I haven't called them yet. I haven't actually oh, call called them, them yeah, yet? Yeah, and as soon as you do, call us. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. George did? It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looked halfway interesting. That does sound very if interesting. If you know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know, okay? But we're bored, Nancy. Bored. We're I hear you. I'll talk Nancy. to you soon, okay? You better. Why are they talking over top of each other? It's kind of strange. All right, let's call the rallies. 
Where are you guys? I'm at your home. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy! Are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom, for Pete's sake. Did you? There was a rattlesnake, rattlesnake in our bathroom. I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. Oh, that's terrifying. Where? In the bedroom, dear. I could have sworn I missed it. <laughs> no, Mrs. Raleigh. I mean, where did it bite him? On his arm? On his leg? Oh, in on his the arm, bedroom, dear. I'm pretty sure I said that. Unfortunately, I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and... The envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll-top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. Dave has the key. Oh, dear. It seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. The horse, bed. Tell her about the phantom horse. Did he say phantom horse? Also, the, yes. the beeping in the background is so funny. We have to go. Don't worry about us, dear. You just go have fun. Just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Bye! No, wait. Just tell me about the... Phantom, Phantom horse? horse? Alright, let's fill in Bess and George real quick, and then we'll do all the stuff that they told us to do. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic messaging service. I'll call so they did later. not. They rejected my call. Wow, okay. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be hot and dry today with temperatures expected to reach the mid 90s by 5 this afternoon. The high Francis Humber. Wonder who she was. Francis Humber. The high being at 5 o'clock seems pretty late in the day. Am I wrong? Or was he saying 5 in the morning? No, he said in the afternoon. Pretty sure he did. Alright. <laughs> That's for a puzzle later on. Ooh, the sheriff. Well, hello there. I love the little animation that they do to show that you can hey, click on them. You must be Nancy. Love it. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleighs, right? Yes, Shorty, I have. Bet said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? Sure do. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night when all of a sudden this glowing horse comes galloping up outside. It stops and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. Ooh. Valentine's horse, you know. Dirk now Valentine. Now he's a phantom. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it, he was in love with Frances Humber. She lived right here on Shadow Ranch. Unfortunately, her daddy was the sheriff. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Damn. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. You don't really believe that, do you? I don't really All believe that, is, do Ted you? Ted Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. You do the math. Well, I better get Hello, going. Nancy. Come like, just met this person. And then, like, he says that. She's like, well, <laughs> I better get going. I need elbow room when I cook. All right. And here we are on the ranch. Beautiful little place. Chicken sounds are so um you talk to the dinosaur like. Yes, I'm supposed to go ahead and have a good time and not worry about Ed, which is a lot easier said than done. He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but rattler. It like he's out of the woods. A rattler. How do you think that snake got into their room? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Night times when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Has anything like that ever happened here before? Not since I've been here. Guess you're gonna be Not asking me a I've lot of questions, since I've been here. Huh? I'm sorry. Am I bugging you? The Raleigh's said you were a detective. 
amateur detective. It's just kind of a hobby. I'm gonna be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. The Raleigh's asked me to huh? take something out to Mary He's Yonsons, forward about it. I'll give him that. Desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Sure Great, do. thanks. To get to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. How do you know? It's just the feeling I get when I talk to her, that's all. Okay. I talked Thank to you for that. Listen, George, their plane's been delayed. This is Dave, they're sure right? They're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. Bro, you're getting paid, right? I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. I mean, I guess it is a form, like it's a temperamental thing. Hey, we end a chicken coop. Chickens are really pretty in this. This is. Is his name Tex? I think his name is Tex. So, which one are you? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. Yes, I'm Nancy Drew. And you are? I'm the head wrangler. You want a ride? You come to me. You Jesus me Christ. You doing, I may just let you. <laughs> how do I and how do I do I that? Exactly. Doing? First thing you're going to do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, mm -hmm, you can wear mm -hmm. that hat over there. Write that down, write that down. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using. And you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then you're going to saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. No need to brush them. I like brushing them. I get them real pretty. Then I'm going to ask you some questions. You can't ride outside the corral until you get all the answers right. Mm. Excuse Once me. Once I pass your test, can I ride any time I want? Long as you talk to me first. When you're done riding, you're going to dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put them back where you got them. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Do these horses ground tie? Yep. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And bar in an earthquake or something, old Bob will stay put. Bob? Who's Bob? Bob? The bay over there. Name's Bob. That's who I'm putting you on. Did you see the phantom horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Alright, we got a few chores to do now. Oh wow, it's that whole horse feeding escapade. Always check your girth before hitting the trail. I think his name is Tex. Also, can we talk about how good uh, this horse food looks? I don't know why. When I was younger, I wanted to eat this shit so bad. Like, look Better at that. Better not go messing around in there. I just want to be a horse so bad. Alright, that's mine. We'll wait on the saddle and gloves. Let's go get that well, canteen. Hello there. Oh. You got some friends back there? Clyde and Ace. Hi there. You two aren't too shabby looking either. <laughs> they are just standing there. So stoic like. Dun, 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 dun. How did she find his name out? He didn't tell her. I guess I'm just pointing out semantics at this point. Alright. Mr. Shorty, Mr. Shorty. Hey there, Nancy. Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. Me too. It'll be nice to talk to them in person. I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with all the weird stuff that's going on. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself. Let alone to you. Enough of me complaining. I thought what's we were supposed up? to get a canteen no, from them. Don't be a stranger. Miss Nancy. How oh, well, I guess service? I have to, well, like, going. ask Don't him if stranger. I can go riding or something first. 
and he'll be like, you gotta, you gotta get the canteen. You gotta get the canteen from Shorty. And I'll be like, okay, can you please clear your throat? <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Let's see. Hmm. The Raleigh sold a trunk full of junk to Mary Yazzie. A trunk full of junk. $85? This was back in 2004. I, I say that like I understand inflation from that era. No, I don't. I assume it's still a good amount though. To Ed and Bet Raleigh, just because you fired me, don't make another... Just because you fired me, don't make another mistake and think that you've heard the last of me because you haven't. We all know that I deserved a second chance. Letting me go without giving me one was just plain wrong. In fact, know what your problem is? Sounds like this Jane Nash person has it out for the Raleigh's. We all know that I deserve... In fact, you don't believe in justice, but see, I do. That's the way my brother and I were raised. Justice always prevails, although sometimes it needs a little help. All right, well, we will put down Jane Nash. <laughs> that was a little bit of a pointed letter to the rallies. Sorry, Mary Yahtzee. Hey, those are the tuning forks for that chest over there. Let's see, let's see. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little... Henry. Henry. He does his job and he does it good. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. I'll let you get Preach. back to work. Take care. Preach for real, for real. Um. So. Need something? May I go riding now? Nope. With the Raleigh's gone, the ranch is real short-handed. Before you ride, okay. you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got any chores. Forgot to click on one little thing. That's already been established. Talk to you later. Shh, just stay out of trouble. Shorty, Shorty, do you have any chores for me? Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Chores. Music to my ears. First thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the right vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? <laughs> you bet I do. You Good, know what ripe you vegetables, vegetables look that like, aren't don't yet, you? I'll be real ticked. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. They're isn't always supposed wanting to have to. a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're gonna have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Well, I'd better get going. Amen Pleasure again. Talking to you. He's got good energy, man. What can I say? Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. What do we have over here? Beef steak, golden queen, black turtle, old ivory egg, Romano, and northern lights. Is that all of them? I assume so. So are some- <laughs> it's so funny also because like this is 2004 but like they really knew what it would be like in the future like if I was asked to go pick vegetables off of vines and stuff on a ranch I really would be sitting there with my phone like Reading as best as I can, knowing good and damn well, I'm probably going to be wrong about it. Alright, I think that's it, right? Uh, wow. Okay. Romano is green and thick. That one, that one, that one. Those look a bit, these two look a bit, uh, what's the word? Undercooked, right? Or is that just me? They look a little bit thin, I think, I think it'll be fine. Northern lights are bi-colored. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. All the old ivory eggs look exactly the same. They're supposed to be golden white. 
Okay, so they're not. They're not ready. All of those are not ready. So, let's see. Beefsteak red when right. Boom. <gasps> Did I just pick one of the golden queens? Oh no. Did I just pick a golden queen? Shorty's gonna yell at me and I'm gonna be very sad. I didn't write down the golden queen because I thought it was an extra. Orange yellow when right. This one and this one. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Shorty, please don't yell at me. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh no, you got stuff in here that isn't wrapped yet. Picking stuff before it's wrapped is a waste of perfectly good food. So don't do it again. You hear? Okay, Shorty, it was now, an accident. The thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. And don't forget to build so, me that campfire like I asked. Right. Wait, so we're good? Like that actually counted? I assumed it didn't count. I guess it's not good to sit right here. Let's sit under the porch while we prepare our basket. Right click pieces to rotate. Okay. So. That's fully green. It's too long. That's fully green, too long. Goes there. Put that to the side for right now. Did I go there? Kind of looks like it. There goes there. That does not go there. That goes there. Uh, put that to the side for right now. You know another game series that I am thinking about uh, talking about because it is another mystery like thing is uh, the Cameron Files. I kind of enjoyed the Cameron Files back in the day, but I don't even know how I would get my hands on it. I um I haven't seen anything Cameron File related on any like archive website or anything um i used to have a copy of it oh that doesn't go there oh wow i used to have a copy of it way back in the day from my old uh windows 98 but there. i have no idea am where I it goes am i get her what <laughs> she's really feeling herself Voila. Good job, Nancy. Let's get the chicken coop. Hi, queens. Don't even think about taking my eggs when I'm here. It makes me crazy. Should we take the eggs? Let's take the eggs. Ow, ow, ow. Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. <laughs> such a foul mood. All right, hey, queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and pick that up for the firewood. We'll have to chop some wood too, but... Um, let's see. There's some more wood. I feel like I saw another piece. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was right here. All right. Um, we'll need some kindling for the wood. Boom, 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 boom. Paint dries in record time due to record heat. <laughs> cool. Bank robbers. Denver bank robber spotted at local gas station. Clerk's description of clothing, car, green tinted sunglasses matches out of witness to $100,000 highs. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and do the firewood as well. Uh, right there, 
And a little bit right there. Nice. Okay. Right here. Right there. Oh! Excuse me? Am I tripping? What? What? We'll go right there. I guess that. I don't know if that works, but anyway. Well, we got some firewood. Just call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. I know that's right, Nancy. You tell him. Wonder who wrote this? We'll need more B if no so check. This must be where Shorty wants me to build a campfire. All right, so we put our so far, so good. kindling down. Put some of these. I need more kindling. <gasps> really? Hmm. More kindling? Oh, oh, oh! The sticks. Okay. Go ahead and fill the water bucket too. To put the fire out. <laughs> yeah, Nancy, we know. There's sticks in here. There they are. Alright. So far so good. I need more kindling. Really? You are greedy girl. Oh. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Is this enough now? So far, so good. That should do it. I know that's right. There, one extremely well-built campfire, if I do say so myself. I know that's right, Nancy. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down too. In the middle of the day, so that it's fully ev evaporated by time it's a cookout, you know. Drop this stuff off. You can them. find more eggs than that. You bet I can. Okay, well, I guess we'll go get more eggs. She put her hand on her hip when she said that. She said, I, I know. You bet I can. All right, thank you for the one egg. Will, chicken e will chickens eat their own egg if they're not fertile? Got those eggs for me? Right here. Is that the thing they do? Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. That's what he said, Nancy. All right, we got our canteen. We've got our... We've got our campfire built. So I guess all there is to do now is figure out what he wants us to know about the horse. Because there's a lot of horse propaganda around here that I don't feel like learning quickly. Need something? May I go riding now? Yep. If you got everything I told you you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses, old Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Oh, you're so scary, Tex. You really know how to lay it on. Hey, Bob. Alright, let's see. And make sure to always tighten your saddle and completely take it off the horse just to make sure that it's tight all the way <laughs> so what do we do we slap him on the ass okay dumbass i literally saw it the icon change i'm just trying to get my practice come in. on bob come on bob I'm ready. Y'all ready for this? Ready for some questions? I think so. I think so. Where's the horse's hocks? Uh, just, just below his knees. Nope. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's frog? On the bottom of its hoof. That's one out of ten. I know that's right. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's fifteen hands? Fifteen hands. Fifty-five inches. Nope. Ah, 
Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? Paso Fino is a uh, gated horse. A gated horse. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. I know that's right. Else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? Colicking is. It keeps lying down, then standing up. Three down, seven to go. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Uh. A chestnut is light brown. Nope. Uh. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? I don't know. The Sioux. Nope. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? When it founders is its... Its feet. That's four right. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? Is it the cinch? The cinch. That's five. Okay. Halfway there. Ask me something else. What is a mule? A horse is very stubborn. The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. I feel like I'm on Jeopardy right now. On its front legs. Nope. Ask me something else. Where's a horse's hocks? On its back legs. Seven down. You're in the home stretch. I don't Ask know, me something right. else. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? Five feet. Eight right. Just two to go. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? I don't know this one at all. A bay is light brown? A bay is light brown. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Ask nope. me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. This here's your final question. I'm ready. Here we what go. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? Uh... The Navajo. Nope. Okay. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? The Algonquin. Nope. Okay, well, we know which one it is. What huh? tribe bred the first Appaloosas? The Nez Pierce. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Thank you, Tex. Galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Yay! Okay, Bob. What do you say we do some sightseeing? Let's do it, Bob. Clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity. We're here. That trunk looks really old. <gasps> hmm. I don't, uh, let's not instantly open that, I guess. Tuning forks. Cool. Cool. Uh, tuning forks. I'd probably be the same one. Do not enter when flooded. Look at that. That is such a cool, like, background, I guess would be the word. Polished rocks and petrified wood. Petrified wood is so cool as well. It takes four ingredients to petrify wood. Wood, water, mud, and time. There she is, our what a queen. Beautiful horse. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. What a beautiful horse. Hi, can horse. I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazzie? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? <laughs> Bob brought me. Bob brought me. He's a horse. <laughs> My name's Nancy. So where are you staying? Shadow Ranch. I heard what happened last night. Tough break for the Raleigh's. Getting that place going has been a real struggle for them. So you know the Raleigh's? Their property line starts where the back of this store ends. We've talked many times. Here, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Oop. Oh, Bad wow. news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry that is so the awkward. Why would she instantly of, open it there? By local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. Is that old trunk over there the one you bought from the Raleigh's? Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. 
Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. May I take a closer look at it? Sure. Is that you riding that beautiful Palomino in the picture over there? That's my horse, Banner. I train him myself. What else can he do? Anything I ask. Banner is kind he of a strange name, isn't talented. it? Are there many he and I are both pretty here? talented. If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Ride safely. Oh, wow. Help the Roadrunner get to its hole before the coyote caches it. Hey. There's two. I guess that's senior detective for you. Okay, how are we going to do this? I got to play this a little bit smart. They're playing it pretty smart as well. Oh my lord, did I already lose? Yeah, I did. Sorry, this banjo in the background is uh, really getting me going. AI is crazy nowadays. What do I do? Brother Man is shredding it on the banjo in the background. Like, actually crazy. Oh, can I get them following? Okay. Well, I messed up again. I messed up. That's how you do it. Okay. You just have to give them the run around. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. You just gotta juke him. That's it. <gasps> okay. Kinda scared me when he went off script. Oh no. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, that sticks him over there. Now we just do this, right? Yeah. Nice. Dude, he is hitting it on the banjo, man. Is there three levels? We just get stuck here for like three more hours as I try to figure out the damn wolf puzzle. The coyote puzzle, sorry. <gasps> Is this it? Nice. Kind of stumbled onto that, but thank god I did. So do we finally get the coin now? <laughs> nice. Cool, an old token, or something. Nice, Dry Creek merchants. All right. And then we'll take a little look at this. Maybe I need to learn more about the history. Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Let me try something very quickly. It's like the birds were positioned like that, right? No? I'm tripping. Okay, whoop, 
We'll figure more about that later. Figure out a little bit more. The trail stop? Cougar Bend? Is that gonna be too far for old Bob? Is he gonna come back hot and sweaty? He's already been sitting out at Mary's Gifts for a minute. Here lies Charlie, best mule whatever lived, never kicked me or nothing. Rip. January 1881. Hey, arrowhead plants. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. I know that's right. Alright, let's get back to Shadow Ranch. Alrighty, Bob. Let me take this all for you. Wait. I guess the barrel racing will be for later. Hmm. Okay. What do you have to say? Should I be somewhere else? Should I yeah. be somewhere Home else? In your nice, soft, Betty by you and your friends, if they ever show up. You ain't gonna last more than three days out here. Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. Talk to you later. Yahoo. <laughs> He's like, all right, well, uh, I'll just leave you to it then, I guess. Let's take a step in here for a second. Call Bess and George. Is it bad manners to eat on stream? I really want a slice of pizza. I'm kind of hungry. Hello? Hi, guys. So what Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed say? Get this. Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Can they not oh call they okay? them themselves? Well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> Is he all right? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh, my God. And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. Apparently last night, this I really want a slice of pizza. I'm gonna go get a slice of pizza. Nowhere. You guys talk to Bess and George. Then went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? Uh, Evidently, it was pretty spooky. You're there investigating phantom horses, and what are we doing? <laughs> A big fat nothing. That does it, George. We're suing the airline. Don't you think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? You don't buy that it was an unfortunate coincidence? Little tiny piece. Little itty bitty tiny piece. I think it was more like a well-planned distraction. So, you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside, then put the snake in their room, knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? But if you're right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh! If you're right, it means that someone is on the ranch! And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. You know, someone to wrangle the horse. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. <laughs> the cook, Shorty Thurman? I don't know if she really Phantom sounded happy about outlaw it. outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom, too? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he didn't? Bess, phantoms don't really exist, okay? According to legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. I finally went for a trail ride. You went horseback riding? I rode to this store that this woman named Mary Yazzie owns. She seems to have a bit of an attitude problem when it comes to the Raleigh's. Apparently, she wants to buy some land from the Raleigh's that they don't want to sell. What's on the property? I don't know. I should probably call the Raleigh's and ask them. Good idea. And the sooner, the better. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Kidding. Something goes here. Can I solve that puzzle already? Miss Nancy, 
How may I be of service? Have you ever met Mary Yazi? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject of the Rowleys comes up. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Rawleys? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Oh, Nancy, Explain it's what you mean by that. Here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. You like to gossip, don't you? More than anything. <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. People like you and I are fascinated by the human condition, that's all. So, who else do you want to talk about? Uh, nobody really. Well, I'd better get he going. He was ready for Drop it. By any time. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. I guess we'll call Frank and Joe, see what they're up to. What is it this time? Uh, excuse me? Nancy, hi. Sorry, I thought you were somebody else. Who'd you think I was? Hey, Nancy. Hi, Frank. Hey, Nancy. I thought you were this guy we're doing some work for. You guys are on a case? That's great. No, it's not. Turns out the guy is a bit neurotic. What do you mean? He wants us to track down his missing laptop. He left it in a restaurant. Only he keeps calling us. Yeah, like every two minutes. He's become a real nuisance. Maybe you should just quit. Can't. Why not? The guy's filthy rich. And if we find that laptop, he said he'd make us filthy rich. But the real reason we can't quit is he's the son of our mother's best friend. Yeah. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> Got another call. Let him leave a message for the nine millionth time. So Nancy, tell us about the ranch. There, he's Maybe just going to be like your senior detective. So just in the den. Any hints as to how to open it? Well, those three holes suggest you're going to need three square bottom keys. Oh wow! Keys. Find them, stick them in, then look to Father Time for direction. The Raleigh's aren't here because wow, Mr. they actually Raleigh give his hints in senior detective. Whoa! How bad off is he? He's still in the hospital, but they think he's going to be okay. And that's not all that happened last night. We're listening. Apparently, this glowing horse came running up to the ranch house, caused everybody to go rushing out to look, then went racing off into the night. We get nut jobs who can't keep track of their computers. And what does Nancy get? Horses that glow in the dark. I mean, I know life isn't fair, but this is ridiculous. I'd love to see what's inside this old trunk at Mary's, but I need a hint when it comes to opening it. The key to this is probably pretty square. Which way do you turn the key? That's the question. I'll bet that hearts and doves and initial stuff that's carved in the trunk is the real key. You've got a trunk that probably dates back to the Old West, and a carving that suggests romance. Sometimes the only way to book some answers is to call an expert. Catch you later. Stay safe. So annoying. Watch out for varmints. All right, let's do one thing really quickly. It said look to father time, so we'll just see what That's that is. That's not the right time. Must be broken. Okay. Blue two red twelve yellow seven. Blue two red twelve yellow seven. Blue two. Can we turn? Okay, we have to go all the way. One, two, one, six, seven. Oh, wait. You're 12. And you're six, seven. Six, seven. All right. Huge. Oh, Merrill Humber. July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. <laughs> it was the 4th. Got sworn in as sheriff. The celebrations was for me. Which, of course, they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back, gave it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. <laughs> I said she ain't of that mind yet. Francis has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Captain so this is a sheriff? plays a piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says he won't come because he is too shy. 
I wonder if that is the truth. <laughs> April 16th, 1883. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. The picture with the letter looked just like Dirk, who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix oh. about August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. But that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money, meant to pay miners a hard-earned wages. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis I know that's right. When I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him which she hides from me. September 9th, 1883. Got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk, and saw what they was going to meet. So I got a posse and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. Oh, wow. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Francis won't say nothing to me no more, and he says she never will again. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sends a secret letter to Francis, which Mason got hold of and give to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Francis ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course, and... If she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more, and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Francis's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. I thought I would be glad, but I ain't. September 18th, eighteen. Pretty normal reaction, I feel Francis like. took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. <clears throat> she ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget, Dirk, and when she does, she will come home because she's a smart gal and will figure out that I, I did what I'd done for her. I did what I'd January done for 4th, her. 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and was not of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth, because I miss her something awful. June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is just a pile of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look after delicate things like that, so it is my fault that it died. Oh, wow. That is so sad out of nowhere. That that one actually hit. For some reason, I feel like I need to walk right down Harrison's yellow. Harrison's yellow. Francis's favorite flower. Okay. The Harrison's yellow, which okay. I haven't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She will never come back to Shadow Ranch, and it is my fault. I'll just have to find a way to live with it. Oh, that is so sad, and it's got like the teardrops on the page. That's really emotional. This doesn't look like it was ever opened. So you opened it, Nancy? I mean, I guess so, but... As usual, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is gonna happen to me. I will be fine, and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers, and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind, too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites. Start keeping them in mind too. As usual, I like vexing your brain because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours, and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. Nine, 
12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you. Oh, wow. Okay. That looks exciting. Six. Six, four, eight. Six, four, eight, twelve. Six, four, eight, ten, twelve, two. Oh wow, that's cute. That's a really good picture of them. They're very cute. What did I pick up? What is this? I just get really scared. What did I pick up? What is this? What? <sighs> okay, uh, that was pretty fulfilling. Let's talk to Charlena. See if she can tell us about the chess at Mariazzi's. Mariazzi's. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Ms. Purcell? Concerning? A concerning? I'm in Central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I came across a very old trunk that might contain stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine yeah. and Francis Humber. Only I can't open for a little bit more. Dirk Valentine? <laughs> and his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Ah, what would you hold, please? Hey, some more drink for porn. And thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlena Purcell novel We're in on like hold. through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew. Tell me about the trunk you found. Well... The lock seems to have something to do with this image that's engraved on the trunk right above it. Describe the image. It's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber, Francis Humber's grandparents. The picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was April 9th, 1811. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. I'm afraid I wouldn't know. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However, I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits stashed away, I may well write a book about them. Then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure, I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better and better. I'll tell my this just to gets your better and better. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of um, us. kind of a detective. I love Nancy. I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, wow. Is this a video idea? Making secret at Shadow Ranch recipes. <laughs> this is so cute. I want to do this now. Is I'm sure somebody's already done this before. Should I do that? Should I make a short out of this and see what people think about it? I have to see if people's done that in the past first. <laughs> Vinegar pie. Oh, that does not sound good at all. Is that like white vinegar? 
You can only assume it's white vinegar. I want to do that so bad. I'm really thinking of doing that. Need something? Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid for his sweetheart? Nope. Eh, somehow I knew you were going to say that. Talk to you later. And then no response. That's so funny. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and that's about it. Why? What'd the letter say? It suggested that Dirk had buried something very valuable around here. Well, if the guy did hide something, it's probably long gone by now. I'll let you get back He's to such him. a realist. Ma'am. Ma <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that, ma'am. So let's go to the trail stop now. And I think that's where, or is it in Cedar Grove? Will I get in trouble for riding the horse all the way out that way? Tex would have a cow if I rode bareback. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That's not funny at all, but that's funny to me. Come on, Bob. Shit makes you want to wiggle your finger. <laughs> Open, come through the door, Nancy. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da -bum. Okay. We're here. Check him out, he is posted up. He was right here, right? Yeah. Uh, there's one. On the corner. Right here? All right. And then where was the other one? Oh, another arrowhead. Cool. I have to play in a uh, little windowed thing in the top left corner of my screen just so OBS can pick it up right. Um, so this is not helping me with that. Oh, there he is. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Right here? Right? I think so. It's over here. There's that. Should be something down here. It's kind of scary. Hmm. Yeah, girl. I need a rope. Yeah, you do. Where is it? I feel so blind. Okay, there it is. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. There should be something over there. Right? 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 Oh, wow, I missed a lot. That one. And... Oh, no. The hand is right there. This sun is right here. So that means there's another thing right there. And that is right there. So that puts him down here. And that right there. And then there's two things right there. Right? 
Look, that is so pretty. Look at these, look at this. Like, this is such a beautiful scene for a game released in 2004. I love these games, man. I don't know why we're collecting arrowheads. Okay, there. I need a rope. Am I blind? There's something right there. I guess we have to get the rope first to be able to actually get up there. God. Oh, that's right. Back to dang old Shadow Ranch, man. Need something? I need a rope. I need a you rope. Think I could borrow yours? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Talk to you later. No hurry. Sounds good, man. This is where we find out that you have to figure out how to make your own ropes. Let's see what Bess and George are up to. Tell us how to get a rope, please. Hello? Hey, Bess. Nancy, our link to the world of excitement and intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? Would you believe I found a letter that Dirk Valentine wrote to Francis Humber? No way. It was locked up in this chest that belonged to her father. And the letter was never opened. According to his journal, her father intercepted it and locked it away before Francis could read it. <laughs> so did you read it? Of course she did. I mean, she better have. It said that Dirk hid a bunch of his loot somewhere. Ooh, I love it when outlaws hide loot, don't you? What'd the letter say? Well, evidently Dirk yes, wanted Bess. Francis to have the loot he'd stashed, so he set up this elaborate treasure hunt for her. The letter contained all sorts of weird, obscure clues to help her find what he'd hidden. But if the letter was never opened, Bess is really on to something right now. The treasure. Oh my gosh, it could still be out there. And someone could be using that phantom horse to chase the Raleigh's off the ranch because they want to be the ones to find it. We're stuck here when we could be there with you looking for hidden loot? That does it, George. We're suing the airline and the airport. I'm not sure what I should they do. They have next. money to sue. Take a look at the case notes you keep in your notepad. Maybe some of them will spark some ideas. How about some hints? Count us out. We're too bored. Our brains <laughs> have grown weak and flaccid from lack of stimulation. Try Frank and Joe. They're used to being bored. So why would they say that they can't and then give me the ability to ask? I'd love to see what's inside this old trunk at Mary's, but I need a hint when it comes to opening it. It probably opens just like that compartment in the blanket chest did. Put those three wrench things in the square holes. But which way does she turn them? Back? Yes, 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 we know, we know. Part. Maybe that romantic hearts and doves design has something to do with it. Let's see. Who could you call that would know something about things that are old and things that are romantic? That's it for now. Thanks for calling. Bye, Nan. Bye, Nan. Bye, bears. <laughs> Bye, bear. See, the joke there is that... <laughs> it's a shortened version of Bess's name. I don't know. Let's go look at this stupid trunk. Okay. The initials on this trunk. Whose are they? Do you know? I have no idea. She's sitting there screaming. Two birds. Ribbon. E H A H. They were born. What did Charlene say about? She told us when they got married. It's probably made by Francis Humber's grandfather who got married on April 9th, 1812. April 9th. 1812. Let's just mess around with it for a second. Boom, boom. Boom. It just instantly snaps open. Easiest puzzle of my life. I don't know. Okay. Hey, Mary. Hi, can I help you with something? I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was great talking to you. Come in again. She's so cordial with me. 
Thank you, Mary. I will come back again. It's F.H. Francis Humber. For when she needed to tune her piano. What haven't I done yet? I feel like the day should be ending soon. But I am missing something. I guess I have to open that chest by now. Oh, April 9th, 1812. I guess I could try that. One, two, three, four, nine. Yeah, I think this is it. No? April 9th, 1811? Why did I write down 1812? I've been trying to put that in this entire time. I swear if this goes in. April 9th. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. Good night. You deserve a reward. Yeah, I know, girl. If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. Hmm. I wonder how you open this. Bingo! F. H. Francis Humber? Five. Five, seven, 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 three. Uh, Green wow. under, hmm, wonder what that means. Green bottle under. I can't believe I wasted so much time just because I wrote down one wrong number that I don't even remember writing down incorrectly. That's insane. I'd better put that back. Jay Nash to text. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, Jay Nash is Texas' sister. Oh wow. Maybe that's why he's so bitter. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So Tex rides Nash. Pretty cool. Let's instantly confront him about his sister. Talk to you later. Oh. No hurry. Need something? I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? Did you know that she used to work for the Raleigh's? No, she didn't. What gave you that idea? Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh's stuff? In my stuff? I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. Okay, girly pop. Jesus. Understood, ma'am. <gasps> and she'll be coming around the mountain when she goes. Oh, that's right. Ooh. You're late. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great. Damn, if you couldn't Tex. appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in, too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. At two, Brute. You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in, day in, day in, day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I write a best-selling cookbook, that's what I do. Then I'll get my own TV show, then I'll do a movie, and while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. A gazillionaire, I know that's right, Shorty. Dude. He's big. Uh, 
Oh, wow. The next morning. And you say this happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh, my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. Oh, my lord. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Could someone be trying to get back at you for something? I can't imagine who. Maybe I can find out. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can yeah, you girly think pop, any we got it. why someone might want you off the ranch? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not oh, yet. Oh, wow. Tell her about the storm. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding, because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. <laughs> She's like, don't worry, I'll do that for myself. As she instantly berates everyone with questions. Oh yeah, I need to write that down. Jane Nash. Texas. Sister. Call the sheriff real quick. Let him know that that happened. Hernandez. Hey, bro, it happened this is again. Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's staying at Shadow Ranch. I remember. In fact, I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Huh? Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Uh, that was... That's strange. There was a whole nother text tree and I... Am I... Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, wow. It's Nancy Drew again. We Hello, just don't Nancy. get to talk about it. For Thanks for your help. My pleasure. That's strange. Let's let her know that we opened up the chest. Hey, we opened Show up the chest. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording again. You really rave. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. So what have you discovered? I opened that trunk and found a locket watch in it that used to belong to Francis. And was anything in the locket watch? Half a picture. I'm pretty sure what's there is a picture of Francis. I think the missing half was of her father. Anyway, on the back it said, Green Bottle Under. Hmm. wonder what that means. It looks like the rest of the sentence is on the half that got torn off. I know a lot about the Humbers, but I don't know anything about a green bottle. What happened to all of Dirk Valentine's ill-gotten gains? That's what I'd really <laughs> Ill-gotten like gains? That's me going to the gym. Actually, I may know what happened to it. If you're talking about the rumor that Dirk hid his fortune in such a way that only Francis would be able to find it, I know all about it, and I tend to believe it. Seeing that Dirk was basically just a high-spirited, fun-loving guy who loved to take risks. The thing is, after Dirk's demise, Frances spent the rest of her life teaching school in Ohio, which strongly suggests that she never found the treasure, so the rumor probably isn't true. I have reason to believe that it is. Really? Tell me. I found a letter from Dirk that Frances never read. It told her how to start looking for what he'd hidden for her. His clues were rather obtuse, though. For example? For example, he refers to her favorite flowers and the flowers on her favorites. Do you know what that means? No, and that's the problem. Whatever clues he left for her no doubt relate to things only she and no one else would understand. Well, I'm going to try to figure it out anyway. That's the spirit. <laughs> and if you think there's something so I can help you with, spirit, please girl. do not hesitate to call. Talk to you soon. Look forward to it. Look forward to it. Yes, my own. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I don't even really know. <gasps> Shorty's not here. Mineral deposits? 
Mineral deposits. Can I help you find something? No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long lost gold mine or two around here. Awkward. But like most of my get rich quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills. Or <laughs> silver or them thar or hills. anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Yes? I'm embarrassed that you caught me snooping through your stuff. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock oh, still wow. get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? I'm inclined to think that someone, not something, is responsible for the damage to the pump house. I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from that equine banshee. <laughs> Got any equine banshee. Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Okay. Baskets outside. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. So excited to pick the wrong vegetables for you, Shorty. Hey, uh. Oh, wow. I guess we gotta feed the chickens today. Do we still have the basket? No, we don't. Where's the basket? The egg basket. <gasps> well, I can just second chance anyway. Let's get bit by a snake. Ugh, that actually scared me. Why does she scream so fucking loud? Ugh. That's unbelievable. Okay, well. We'll let him do his own thing for a little bit. Jesus, he is really going off. Crime scene? I better not go in there until I call the sheriff. Yeah, we already called him. And he had nothing to say to us, Nancy. Nothing at all. Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay. So it's just a coincidence that you ended up working for the Raleigh's too? Of course not. Janie got me curious, so I checked him out and wound up iron on. They're decent people. So all the bad stuff that's been going on around here. It's You're really accusing you're her right now, Nancy. Rollies for letting her go. Fact is, my sister can be kind of a flake. I'd have probably fired her too. Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something else going on. Like Ed Raleigh getting snake bit or the pump house blowing up. Plus that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Go see if Shorty's got any chores that need doing first. I hate hearing him whine about how overworked he is. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Okay, well... Uh... Is the rattlesnake still chilling? No. Romano. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more rap stuff out there than that. You bet there is. <laughs> Me too, Nancy. You, uh, yeah, yeah, you bet there is. Take wrong stuff already. Already. I'll let it. Yeah. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. There we go. Now, Thank you. Now, just fill that egg basket for Thank me again. You. We'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Hi, I'm here for your eggs. Okay. I'm 
I'm sure the white chicken has an egg that's ready, but I've got to like wait a little bit till he's Have those gone. Eggs for me? Right here. Good no. for you. Good job. I need you to do one more thing. It's Tex's birthday. The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now, if I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, he might actually appreciate it. So why go. don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? I don't care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the day. The icing's already made. Nice. Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Okay. Cup of butter, two eggs, one two thirds cup of milk. First thing I'll need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. Yeah, let's just go ahead and what? One cup of butter, two eggs. One and two thirds cup milk, four cups of flour, one tablespoon baking powder, two and one third cup sugar, three teaspoons of vanilla. Our refrigerator makes a lot of sounds. Teaspoon, three teaspoons. Oh wow, do we have to mix everything? I can't get in there right now. I know two eggs. I can't get in there right now. I can't get in there right now. Okay, Nancy. I can't get in there right now. Nancy. I can't get in there right now. Okay, Nancy. I don't need that right now. This is not the right time. I have to write it down. Okay. What color? Two eggs. One two eggs. What color? One two eggs. Another color. Two hundred cup. Sure. Vanilla. I think I should know my like baking things well enough. One, two, one third cup, one and two thirds cup, one, two, three, four, five. Two eggs, one third butter, one second half a cup, one, two, two and one third cup of sugar, oh wow, six, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, that's a lot of sugar. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? I think it's seven. Uh, or is it three? Well, it's not really cheating if I don't look up a Nancy Drew walkthrough. I can look up how many teaspoons are in a and one tablespoon is three. I thought it was three. I knew it was three. Two. That's why it's written up on the refrigerator. I was supposed to keep that in mind. I've only done two. Did I only do two? Oh, I can't back up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Put one more. So now we need. I've done butter, eggs, milk. We need four cups of flour. Have I done vanilla? A pint? There's six cups and a pint, right? Man, I messed up. Throw it all away. Pint. Three teaspoons. One tablespoon. Two cups equals 16 ounces. Equals one pint. Four cups of flour, so it's just two of those. All right, let's do this long process again. Two, one, two, five, one, two, three, four, five, four, flour, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. That should be good. I didn't, I didn't read the tin. Uh, 
Okay. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Looks like I'm going to have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. I'm supposed to guess it? That's a realistic time, but it's going to be undercooked. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Maybe I should try a little, just to be sure. I should put that icing shorty made on it. What are these? I made you that flour Francis mentioned in her recipe. I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. How do we know what it looks like? Are we supposed to just put this together? Like, is there a picture of this thing floating around somewhere? Or should I just know it? something with this oh wow I'm on to something with this Why doesn't that work? Isn't that it? That sucks. I wish I realized that a little bit sooner. There we go. There we go. And there it's we go. It's a tulip. 
What's this? That's food coloring, so you can paint that marzipan flower. Let's, well, a little bit less anticlimactic than I thought. Nice. Good job, Nancy. Okay. Can I have your rope now? This is, I've wanted this rope for a minute. Need something? Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed the chickens and the horses in the corral first. Could be fatal if you mess up, so don't. Talk to you later. No hurry. Let's feed the chickens. Two scoops chicken chow. Measure by pound into bucket. Bob, Tilly. Okay, who do we have out there? We got Bob, Clyde, and Ace. Bob, Clyde, Ace. Bob gets two oats, one corn, one and a half mixed pellets. Clyde gets three oats, one and one half mixed pellets, and Ace gets one oat, half corn, three mixed pellets. What are you feeding these horses that if you mix up, like if you don't give them exactly what they need, they'll straight up die? Are you giving like, are you giving them like poison with the antidote in it or something? Two scoops for the chickens. All right. First up. Oh lord, that's how we have to track it. We'll do Clyde first. How do I know what's what? Is that pellets? How am I supposed to know what's what? <laughs> Corn, mixed pellets, oats, and chicken chow. Uh, which one of these? Okay, that's corn. Okay, one corn, two oats. Hey, chat, does that look like oats? <laughs> or are these oats? Or is that oats? One, two, that was two and a half. That scoop was two and a half's worth. Can I pour that out please? Empty. Will the internet tell us what's oats and what's not? That would be very helpful if so. No, it will not. What is this measuring? Okay, that's one. What is this measuring? One and a half. Is that mixed pellets in? That might be the mixed pellets. What is this measuring? Half. Okay. We'll try this out. I'm gonna say this is oats. So two oats. One and a half mixed pellets. And one corn. This is for Bob. I think that was right. 
thing that was right, so that's good. Clyde gets three oats. One, two, three. Three oats and one and a half mixed pellets. Keep. There you go. Enjoy, enjoy. And enjoy he shall. And then Ace gets one oats, a half a corn, and three mixed pellets. One. Mr. Ace, eat up, fella. And two scoops of chicken feet. And I'm going to assume this is a chicken feet. It's probably isn't the chicken feet. It's probably isn't the chicken feet, and they're probably going to die. I'll be really, I'll be really upset that the fictional chickens died. Yeah, okay, that's chicken Okay, chickens, feed. come and get it. That's some good old chicken feed. All right, I've fed the animals, the animals. Need something? May I go riding now? Oh, Bob's all yours. I set up nice. some barrels and a sawhorse so you can do some barrel racing and practice roping. Whenever you're out there, and we I'll get the rope, time. nice. If you get good enough, like say you get your time below ten seconds, and if you can lasso the sawhorse, like say four times out of five, I'll give you your very own lariat. You can practice as much as you want whenever you want. Just don't go walking off with my rope. Cause I'll be watching. Talk Heard. to you later. If you last that long. Bum bum ba da ba dum bum. No. Okay. Let's... I need to look at this. Start. Barrel. Boom, boom, okay. One, two, three. Oh. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Perfect. Yes. Rats, I was this close. Oh. Gotcha. That's three out of five. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just missed. Okay. Just be patient, bro. Gotcha. Clean circle. Perfect. Perfect. Just missed. Oh, That's three wow. out of five. They changed the very last second. Why not early? Gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. 
Four out of five. Nice. Congratulations. Easy, easy. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Ten point five. Start over. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. 9.5. How about that? You did it. All right. Now I can get my own lariat. I did the barrel race in under 10 seconds and roped the sawhorse four out of five times. Do I get a lariat? He's like, yes, Nancy. I, I was there with you. Why? Figured you'd be good for some laughs out there. You weren't. But there's still hope. This little vacation of yours ain't over with yet. May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Let's get it. Oh. I've never seen that before. That's to tell you what the pink stuff is. Wow. Okay. Let's go finally finish those petroglyphs. And I think I might be wrapping up soon. We're about to hit the three hour mark. You gotta save some of the game for Come another on, time. Good boy. <laughs> but I do want to do some of the petroglyphs before we finish. About to take this trick around that Arizona. Like what is she doing there? What are you doing there, Miss Mary? It's kind of strange. While we're waiting, let's take a look at the, the case of Secret of Shadow Ranch. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It opens up. Is this one still taped? No. It opens up. It has a few... I would make the camera bigger but I feel like that would be a little counterproductive I need a rope yes you do good thing we got one Kia Ta -da! okay I can't get my map out now I'll just remember the petroglyphs I see and check my map later. Boom. Like that, and then a little coral cue. That's on wands. And humans, sun, X's. Sun. Humans. Boom. Boom. And then be that. And then that. Beneath Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. Oof. Beneath Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. Cappy's keys? Is that everything over here? I think so. We need old ball put back up. It said beneath Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. Heck, why walk when I can ride? God, Nancy, sometimes you scream and it scares me really bad. Let's go see if Mary is at her place so we can confront her about what she's doing on Shadow Ranch. Miss Mary. Hi, can I help you with something? I saw you riding earlier. What were you Shadow doing on Ranch? my property? Do you ride around there a lot? You're mistaken. Shadow Ranch is private property. I never ride there. You must have seen somebody else. Whoever I saw was riding a Palomino that looked just like yours. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. 
So don't go telling people you saw me trespassing, because you didn't. Excuse me. Jesus, okay, girly. I wasn't saying you were trespassing. You said that. Let's get that old hot saddle off you, Bob. Need something? I'm pretty sure I saw Mary Yazzie riding on ranch property. Have we are really just wiping her out. Nope. When I asked her about it, she denied it adamantly. Was she hurting anything? Defacing rocks? Setting fires? Threatening some endangered species? It just seemed like she was hiding something, <laughs> that's all. Sounds to me like a mountain about? out of an anthill. I wouldn't worry about it. Talk to you later. No hurry. Uh, I feel like we're about to have to do a lot of phone conversations. I think I remember um, I, I, I had to make a lot of phone calls and I was like, I will leave that for tomorrow. Get these phone calls out of the way. Let's call Bess and George, see what they're up to. Hello? Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. You know what we saw last night? The inside of a motel room in St. Louis. In St. Louis? Louis? Our plane finally took off at 7 last night. We didn't call you because we wanted to surprise you. Only the next thing we knew, we were being diverted to St. Louis on account of Is it of called St. Louis? So the airline put us up at a motel. I thought it was St. Louis. Came back to the airport this morning, guess what? You're fogged in, and your plane's got more mechanical problems. We're fogged in. I have never seen fog this thick. Visibility's three feet tall. Hey, we were close. You can barely drive in this stuff, let alone land and take off. Let's change the subject. Let's change so the subject. So you saw the phantom horse? Last night, right after the campfire, this glowing horse appeared out of nowhere, then went galloping away. And right after that, the main pipe in the pump house sprang a leak. Another case of bad luck? I think not. So while oh wow, we got a lot horse, someone sabotaged to talk the pump about. House. First the rattlesnake, now this. Yikes. Has either of you two ever read anything by an author named Charlena Purcell? Charlena. She writes romance novels that take place in the Old West. That rules me out. I saw her on a talk show once. Seemed kind of full of herself. Why do you ask? I had to call her in order to open this old trunk at Mary Yazzie's. She knows a lot about the people who used to live call at Shadow Ranch. Around. I bet I know more about 19th century clothing design than she does. I know that's right. I found a half-burned note that had a bunch of gibberish on it in the fire pit. Gibberish? You mean like a code? That could be why someone tried to burn it, so no one else at the ranch would ever know what it said. Maybe it was about the sabotage. <laughs> Y'all are really putting it together. That's just what I was thinking. So just find a way to decode that message and you'll be all set. <laughs> so just fucking solve it. Just fucking solve it and read it, girl. I found a locket that belonged to Francis Humber. It had a picture in it with the words green bottle under written on the back. Maybe the bottle's a clue to where Valentine's loot is hidden. I doubt it. If Frances never saw that letter from Dirk that her father intercepted, she couldn't have found the treasure, which means she couldn't have left a clue as to its whereabouts in that locket. Well, that green bottle obviously meant something to her. I think you should find it first and ask questions later. The message those petroglyphs spelled out is pretty weird. Got any hints? Seems to me you have to find out where Cappy's is, then find out where his keys are, and then find out who this Pappy person is. Mm -hmm. No problem. As long as you're psychic. Sounds to me like another phone call to a certain best-selling author is in order. That's it for now. Can't Stay in be. touch. That's an order. Alright, Miss Charlena, what are you up to? Talk to us. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. Mm. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Kashmir Valentine. Talk to you soon. Look forward to it. Well, we found the pappy. Now we must get the cappy and the keys. I don't want to call Frank and Joe. I really don't. SWGO survey? 
Oh, that's um, we we investigated Shorty's or snooped. We didn't investigate. We poked through fucking Shorty stuff, and he had uh a map of geo locations like uh, mineral deposits in the area. So I guess we can give them a call. This is Gaza. Gaza. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Not too long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central Arizona. That's what I'm here for. Is it unusual for an ordinary citizen to request a map like that? Depends on which map it was. The number on it was PUB893A. Publication 893 Alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. <laughs> Why is he talking yeah, that's like a that? Map somebody use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's this person's name? Uh, Shorty Thurman? Shorty Thurman. Yep, I feel like they wouldn't According give this much notes, information out. He just out. started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around Shadow Mountain? Oh, he might find a nugget or two, but from the looks Shadow of the maps Mountain. I sent him... Any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. That's what interesting. Is? Apparently this shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Really? Do you remember what he said? Ooh. As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. Shorty he thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. About... And what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Gaza. No problem. Treasure. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any <laughs> maps. But she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. <laughs> Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. Goodbye, Miss Drew. Oh, what a cute Bye. little conversation. He was nice. He was so nice. I think that's enough calling for right now. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Shorty. Miss Nancy, how may I be uh, of service? Usually well, she's... I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Instantly trying to call somebody out, call somebody out as soon as she finds someone out. Where is, um, Dave? Where has he been? Green bottle under. I better not go in there until I call the sheriff. I do need to call him and be like, hey, can I uh can I look in here? Please. If I say pretty please. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Hernandez. Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Would it be alright if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Amateur Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Whoa, Dave. We have a boyfriend back home, Dave. Oh, wow. It's really wet in here. It's really ransacked in here. Hey, what's that? Hey, what is that? Where are we going? Dave? What the fuck? Well, where did you come from? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you, what but... What the fuck? What are you doing? Well, see, I just... I mean, why is he so loud? I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. Then you lied before when you said you didn't know who Dirk Valentine was. Dave. Yes, ma'am. See, my great aunt Knows. Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she oh, died, treasure. she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for. Everybody Francis was real smart, treasure. see? Loved puzzles, played the piano pretty good, too. Do anyway, to turn on the after game Valentine audio? met his end, Francis like was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. 
She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father. Hey, Sheriff that's Merrill the other half Humber. of the locket. There's something written on the back. Stairs to cellar. Oh, wow. That's Francis's handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message got torn off. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but no such luck. I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. secret. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid <laughs> that if I told them they'd the Raleigh's see my brother's know. dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure. I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear, soon as they come back. They got enough on their minds right now. What, what about, about all, all the, the accidents, accidents that have been happening around? What about all the accidents? Lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here, I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. No, wait, you don't have to leave. Okay, audio sounds good. No, wait, you don't have to leave. Something's missing. Oh, wow. She actually took it. Nancy, he was Ask. down here? wonder what somebody's been using that for. Oh, shit. He's been down here, and that's one thing? But you're taking stuff from down here. How are you, like, not as much in the wrong? Boom, 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 boom. Where does this go? Looks like I'm back in the den. Whoa. I don't want to go back in the den. Excuse me. So, it says beneath green bottle under stairs to cellar. Or is, is it these cellar? Like, is it these stairs? It's only giving me a... Go up command. Is it the other one? Maybe the message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to oh. these stairs. See, Nancy knows. Check that out. Hey, yo. Oh, it's a fucking. It's a pull it out type of thing. What is this? FH? Where do I need to take it? Oh, wow. Where? What am I trying to do with it? <laughs> uh... That... Do that... Do that. Already messed up, I feel like. Do that. Usually they'll tell you a specific spot that you're trying to get to. But I do not see such a spot. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, that's right. Was that it? Was there's something inside? Oh wow! I am glad that you are getting oh, your picture painted we wearing go. your favorite shawl. It will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl. I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it, but I think it is amazing that you learned how to knit a whole shawl just by reading one book. I wish I could put my mind to things like you can. I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. 
Meet me on Friday at noon by the Big Picture Rock. I love you, Dirk. Big Picture. Oh wait, no. I think Big Picture Rock is just what we did to do the pictographs or whatever. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers? He orders special from California, and you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me. Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them, and I bought you four tins. I also oh, wow. bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. An I will agate. meet you Tuesday at 3 by the three arm cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. Three I love you, Dirk. Cactus. I love you, Dirt. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate, and the prettiest too. He but seems sweet. What can I say? He it. seems now sweet I and think thoughtful. It is the best cake recipe in the world too. But nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper, I think of you. Oh. I only steal from people who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed. But if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be, just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you, Dirk. Um, but nothing as good as getting a letter from you whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper. On your favorites. He did say on your favorites. Letter. Paper. Flower? Is that what we should type, I guess? Or make note of? she have any letter paper around here? She never wrote any letters. I don't think we found any letters from her yet. So is Dave back over here? He Hello, is. Nancy. Guess I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. Guess I'm gonna be blushing. Dave is sweet too. Who cares? It's very nice, man. Don't worry about it. I've been known to do a few sneaky type things from time to time myself. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. You bet. This chicken coop's been a thorn in my side ever you since bet. I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. Oh, so if wow. you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Are you going to tell me how to patch it? It's just common sense. You'll manage. <laughs> just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Oh, just wow. make sure it gets done, because if it doesn't, the coyotes are going to have themselves one heck of a banquet, and you're going to be in a lot of hot water. No, no problem. problem. Now, is there something I can do for you? May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your grandfather? Oh, aunt? that's how we sure, get the right letter here. paper. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Thought you might snoop through my stuff or something. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest Cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And now you will never I don't see know me what flower again, that is. for I am on my way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona, not even when my father, whom I despise with every part of my being, has left this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax my brain, and was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps. perhaps he wrote me from jail and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. Oh, wow. But he never told this me how sad. to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow find it, it's yours, my dear young cousin. 
Know too that I miss you terribly and always, I have a chocolate. always will. How about that? Francis. A little Valentine chocolate. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man ever born. <laughs> Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Dry Creek. It's a ghost town now. Oh, Dry Creek. But the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Could you tell me how to get there? On your way to Mariazzi's, look for the trail on your left that heads towards Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's ride. This got something to do with the treasure? I doubt it. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. An hour and a half? An hour and a half on horseback is kind of crazy. I personally don't believe I could do that. Need something? May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. If you last that long. I guess we might as well just go to damn dry creek. I hope you don't get in trouble for taking Bob so far away. Well, I guess the other places are just as far. We don't get in trouble for that, so. Oh, wow. Probably just a bird. We're here at good old Dry Creek. Dry Creek General Store. Outhouse. <gasps> oh. Why did that actually scare me a little bit? Hey, bud. I assume I'll definitely get stung if I try and do something with that. Oh, I got a crank. What is that? A pressure cooker? Popcorn maker? <laughs> Ain't he about to whip up some popcorn out here? She's like, God, I could really use a, a filling uh, low-calorie snack. We gotta figure out what those symbols mean. For being a ghost town, this is, um... It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Considering this is like a ghost town building, this is still very well kept. Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. Yeah, girly pop. So how are we gonna get the... We're gonna get the key. Nancy becomes a locksmith. Hey, Cappies. Oh, wow. Does it rain often in Arizona? Am I showing my stupidity by asking that? It is a genuine question, though. Condemned by order of the sheriff. There's a lot number on it. Is that everything? Oh wow, they just have the hanging. Did y'all see that? Sorry, I had to check it on my phone. That's wild. I didn't know that it actually like there was something that moved. There's more symbols. In another arrowhead. Let's go. Yeah, they just got the gallows out on display. Another symbol. What are with these symbols? Where do we find out what the symbols mean? No signal, no access, old email only. Okay. Okay, well I guess we'll, we'll just get out of here then. I could have stopped at Mary Yazzie's to see. That looks like Mary Yazzie and Tex? Oh, wow. She's back at it again. On our property for what? Is he gone? <gasps> He's gone. We can poke and prod. No, he can actually. <laughs> That's exactly what we're not going to do. Okay, we need to call the sheriff. And ask, can we go into 
Cappies. Uh, Hernandez. Dry Hello, Sheriff. Creek. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist would knock into one of them and bring the thing down, and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. I'm just curious. Amateur detective, remember? I'll lock the place back up when I'm done. Well, if you swear you'll be careful. I'll be extremely Nine, two, careful, seven, I promise. Four. Let's see, where did I put that combination? Ah, here we go. Nine, two, seven, four. Thanks for your help. Just doing my job. Can Bob take another ride back? Has this been too much? Oh, hey Tex. Need something? Did I see you and Mary Yazzie together? Just get straight to together? the point, I guess. Me and Mary Yazzie? Of course not. Why? Well, and said more than ten words to her since I got here. You're imagining things. May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. No hurry. Let's talk to Mary. And be like, what are you doing with Tex? And she's gonna be like, what do you mean? I'm not doing anything with Tex. And I'm be like, but, but, but. And then she's gonna gaslight us. Watch. Hi, can I help you with something? Oh, wow. Nancy's smart about it. Tex told me about, you know, you and him. He did? Uh, I know there's no wrong answer, but it feels like I need to pick the right one. Yeah, I kind of tricked him into telling me. I'd like to hear your side of the story now. I'd like to hear your side of the story now. My side's no different from his side. We're in love. What's the big deal? <laughs> Let's just reveal it. You're what? Wait a minute. He didn't tell you anything, did he? You tricked me. Oh, you're good. You are good. Is that what you were doing on the ranch? That's when I saw their you fallback. Tex? Yes. See, we Tex kissing. knows the Raleigh's and I have been arguing about that property I want to buy. He's afraid if the Raleigh's find out about us, they'll think he's collaborating with the enemy and fire him. Do they really see you that much as an enemy? The Raleigh's wouldn't do that. I think the real reason Tex wants to keep it a secret is because he's got this rough, tough, loner thing going. I think the idea of changing his image scares him. <laughs> that could also be very true. So how did you get past his rough, tough, loner thing? I didn't. He got past mine. Anyway, <laughs> Tex and I are in love. We tried to keep it a secret, and we blew it. So sweet. You know, for a city slicker, you got a lot of country smarts. Like what? Riding back to Shadow Ranch and seeing you? Like... Do you know anything about the treasure Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch? I know it's a lot of hogwash. Ugh. What makes you so sure? If I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have ten horses, two cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing but a tall tale. Trust me. That's a lot of stuff. Why are you so interested in buying that property from the Raleigh's? There's a whole bunch of petrified wood on it. Tex discovered it. Every so often, he'll bring some pieces in, and I'll use it in my jewelry or try to sell it. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Ride safely. She's still pretty nice to us, even though we are... Not the nicest to her. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Wouldn't she have the beads for this? Something's missing. So that's a piece from 1881. That's kind of wild. It's in such amazing condition. Back at Cappy's, 9274. Nine, oh, wow. Oh, wow. The 
The complete electrician's uh, reference manual and guide. An electrician's manual. Oh, well, I guess I could just click on it. Justin sits up when he turns into the ghost town part. Uh, crackers. Hey. That's the crackers that she ate at Cappy's. That he bought four tins of. Make the meanest, roughest, and toughest gang in the West and win. Interesting. Something goes here. Oh. A coin. Bonita, bonita. Oh, wait. Why not do that? I'm stupid. Was that winning? Was that us winning? Is it like poker? Like, do we hold? He seems pretty bad. Yeah, these three seem pretty bad. Ah. Come on, Sue. Sweet Sue. Is there a way that you can, like, mess Interesting. The meanest, roughest, and toughest gang in the Western Wind. These all look pretty tough and rough and uh, mean. Black Bart. Tomahawk Tom. What? Well, can I do. I want to keep them. Can I do them all? Was that winning? Holy, am I stupid? Surely that's not winning. Okay, no, no, no. Skyrocket seems pretty bad. No, we lost. Hmm, interesting. I don't want to have to do the Roadrunner game again. There we go. That's that's it. El Diablo. Are the bad people's names down here? Cause Skyrocket's name is down here. Right. Damn. Gentle chain. No. <gasps> Oh no, I gotta do the stupid thing again. I don't wanna have to do the stupid thing again. Hmm. I don't have to do the stupid Roadrunner game again. Looks like someone's been hanging out in here. Oh wow. Got toothpaste. Better than me. That's a joke. That's a joke. Cool. Looks like I need to put in a password. Do I have anything for this? On my notes? Pappy at Cappy's? What does it say? What does that thing say? Beneath Cappy's key, Pappy's name, please. Beneath Cappy's key. Like a, like a piano key? Yeah, it's down here. So is it cashmere? You mean to put cashmere in? Oh lord, it's a chess puzzle. Is this considered a chess puzzle? I feel like it is. Cash. These you kind of just gotta click till you get it. There, I said it. Okay, you just gotta click until you get it. Change that to age. That's cash. 
I'm just gonna pass it. Cash. And then that runs everything. Oh, it just everything. Mirror. Oh, it changes everything. Okay. Is there an R here? Is it cash here? Everything's fitting. Did I spell it right? Yeah, I mean, are you? Is there no R? Oh, is it not cash here? Cash here. Had to beg Sheriff Fernandez for permission? I don't know if you really begged, Nancy. Her, her letter had a big lily in the border, so that was a lily. Where do I have that wrote down? Letter paper flower equals lily. How far back is it? Uh, the pappy cashmere is uh, is m i spelt it wrong they spelt it like that though did they not is this game gaslighting me i swear in the uh thing they spelt it different cashmere mm. What does that change? Okay, and then that changes that. That changes that. Okay. All right. M. C. S. And H. Damn it. Oh, wait. No. Am I so? Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Why do I keep doing that? Cash. S is right four, and then S is right four. I up. No, I didn't, no, I didn't. Let me just go back to C. And then H. Jesus, that took me way too long. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure you'll go. Okay. <laughs> BD eyes ranch forks and a crank forks and a crank when you stick the forks in and give it a spin off towards my treasure you'll go interesting okay Is that all we gotta do here? We got the crank. I'm getting the Ugh. definite feeling I'm not alone. Y'all see it in the window? Scary. Ooh, so scary. Oh, Mary. We have some questions Hi, for you. Hi, can I help you with something? Have you by any chance ever come across any silverware that may have belonged to Dirk Valentine's girlfriend, Francis? Silverware? I found a letter that referred to Francis Humber's forks. Do you have any idea what that means? Maybe, the Maybe she had forks? a thing for forks. I went out with a guy once who was into spoons. Did he know how to play them? He dangled them. We sat down in a restaurant and the next thing I knew, he had spoons hanging from every part of his face. Like I said, I went out with him once. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for that, Mary. I appreciate that. Tuning forks. Maybe Dirk meant tuning forks. Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them Would for a okay while? Tell you what, it? if you go out and find me 10 arrowheads for this display oh, wow. I'm working on, okay. I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. How many do we have? You got a deal. There are arrowheads all over this area. You just have to keep your eyes open. You should be able to find 10 in no time. As long as you don't dig and only collect arrowheads that the rain and wind have uncovered. You won't be breaking any rules. It was great talking to you. There's rules. Catch you later. So I got five. And I thought I've picked up a lot at this point. Is there any out here? No. We can't take Bob anywhere else right now. He's tired. He needs EP and water. I do think I've found all the arrowheads. 
here though. At the ranch. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? What do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly She's hid really around laying here for the people to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? Nothing really, but what makes you so sure he didn't stash any of his loot here? When I heard that rumor, I started a reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the more I read, the really more it good. sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her, just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. I like the spice cake, okay? It's really good. Hey guys, spice cake review. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Let's really do it. Hey guys. Wait. If we're gonna do it, let's really do it. Hey guys. Space cake review. It's gotten a bite taken out of it. It's really good. It's really good. Sorry. This shit isn't funny. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? It seems that Mary Yazi and Tex have a thing Nancy's for each other. Nancy's just gossiping Tex at this point. And Mary Yazi? You gotta be kidding me. They're keeping it hush hush because Tex is afraid the Raleigh's might not approve. Can't see why the Raleigh's would care. That's Unless, what I'm of course, saying. they dislike her as much as she seems to dislike them. And even then, I can't see where it'd be any of their business. I completely <laughs> agree. Uh, you got a steady back home? Whoa, is he flirting with us? Hey. <laughs> is he flirting? Um. Steady? You mean boyfriend? Uh, well, sort of. What about you? Do you have a girlfriend? So Never mind. I'm sorry. No, I Nancy, shouldn't have you asked. Have a boyfriend. Forget I said anything. So, what else can I do for you? That's so sweet. There's not a lot of characters that find Nancy attractive. That's really cute, actually. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, poor dude. I think he's pretty cordial. There, I said it. I know. Very out there take, but... Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Oh. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Hey, cursor literally just landed on one. Six. We need three more other than that one on dry creek. Okay. Only three more to go. Two more. I don't know how I'm gonna get it from the scorpion. Hmm. Yes, 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 I know. There's a donkey that lives there. Is Ghost Runner any fun? I have that in my library, and I don't know if it's any good. She's gonna scream, listen. <gasps> no, she's not. Wow. Better not leave old Bob behind. I know that's right. Oh, wow. <gasps> Should we lift it? Let's lift it. Woo! <laughs> Oh, wow. So what do I do about that? There's like a cellar thing right there. I just need to come back at a later time. Check out the spinning. Woo. 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 Bob's like, what is she doing? It's I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Bob's like, it's hot. It's hot out here, Nancy. Stop spinning. Is there any more arrowheads I'm missing? No. No. Oh yeah, he's gone now. 
queue. Can the last one please be here? I just didn't notice it. I'd really not. I, I, I'd rather not spend the next 30 minutes trying to figure out where an arrowhead is. That's a harmonica, right? Somebody is shredding a harmonica right now. Oh, that's right. Tex is just over here sleeping in the corner. <laughs> Nancy. No, no answer. I'm like, uh, Tex, do you have a home? And he's like, Nancy, Cappy's is home. Where is, uh, where is this thing? Where is it? Where's Arrowhead? Is a snake gone? Better not leave old Bob behind. Yes, Nancy, please don't yell at me. Your voice really makes my heart drop sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's one more. We just need one fucking more. Is it in the cellar? Did I miss it in the good old cellar? Bum, 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 bum. That for the sink. Looks like the pipe no. was pretty badly corroded. <gasps> no, it wasn't. Hey, hey! Ten arrowheads. I'm all done. Let's go. Huge surprise. Um, is that corroded or was there acid used on it? Who knows? Mary, we have your arrowheads. Got those arrowheads yet? Yes, I have man. ten arrowheads right here. So you do. It looks like I only need nine to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your help, Nancy. Those tuning forks are all yours. It was great talking to you. Do we get Thanks the cool blue by. one? Oh, no, we don't. All arrowheads are equal. Nice. Uh, what did he say do with the, the forks? Oh, forks and a crank to beady eyes ranch. Beady eyes. Well, now I don't really know what that is. Mm. Beady eyes ranch. Okay, let's make some phone calls. Okay. Beth. Best, can you help us? Hello? It's me. Please. So what's going on there? Oh, wow. I found an old beaded handbag that may have belonged to Francis Humber. Was there anything in it? No, but if it's the bag that Dirk mentioned in one of his love letters, it could hold some sort of clue. What does it look like? Well, there's a bird on it, but the beads have completely fallen off this one section. However, it does have the name of the manufacturer at the bottom. It was made by the Chicago Mercantile Company back in 1881. Oh, That's wait. one of the companies in my book. I was about to Is say. there anything else on it? Yeah, some kind of number. HB3941. Maybe that's what bead pattern it is. There's a bunch of phone numbers in this book. Maybe we can track down the pattern for you. That'd be great. Like I said, it could be pretty important. Especially if the part that's missing turns out to have something to do with flowers. We'll get right on it. I found a green bottle with a bunch of love letters from Dirk to Francis inside. Love letters? I love love letters. Was there anything in them about the loot he'd stashed for her? Love no, letters. but there are references to some of her favorite things. And since the letter that Dirk wrote to her from jail mentions that her favorite flowers will help her find the treasure. They might help you figure out what they are. We're stuck here while you get to read love letters? I know that's okay, right. Okay, George, yep. we're suing the airline, both airports, and the weather service. Have I told you about the cowboys that work for the Raleigh's? No, and believe me, I've been meaning to ask. Well, Dave Gregory, he's the foreman, and he's very cute, Bess. Wouldn't you know it? Anyway, I caught him secretly digging around in the cellar. He knows about Dirk Valentine's treasure, too. 
What about the this other is the red herring Text section Bitten, of the game, the wrangler, where they the try to explain like when they lived in Phoenix. At first, who he all could be then the finally admitted culprit it, he for said some he reason. Lied because he knew the truth makes him look bad. Yeah, it makes him look like he's been sabotaging stuff at the ranch to help his sister get back at Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. He says that's not true, that he doesn't even blame the Raleigh's for firing her. Words are cheap, Nan. Keep an eye Words on Words are him. cheap, Nan. Any hint as to don't. what that riddle I found in the piano means? Well, you've got the tuning Words forks and the crank. Now all you have to do is figure out where the B.I.'s ranch is. Take a brand new look at the situation, Nancy. That's all you need to do. All you have to do is figure out where the BDI's ranch is. Take a brand new look at the situation, Nancy. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Take a brand new look at the situation? What do you mean by that? Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hi, this Hello, is Nancy, Nancy Crew. Hello, What's the latest? Oh. Would you happen to know the brand Even name the of crumbs crackers are crisp. back in the 1880s whose slogan was, Even the crumbs are crisp? Not offhand, but I certainly can find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical accuracy. Have you read any of my books? Uh, no. But Aunt Beth has. She's a big fan. She's a I big fan. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. And I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Look forward to Thank it. you, Charlena. Hmm. Say hi to the sheriff, I guess. See if he knows about BDI's ranch. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Do you go out to the ghost town very much? Out to Dry Creek? I haven't been there in ages. Why? I get the feeling someone's hiding out there. Hiding out? Like a band of desperados or something? Or something, yes. Well, next time I have some time to kill, I'll drive up there and check things out. How'd that be? Thanks for your help. Band of Just doing my job. Frank and Joe, what can you tell us about BDI's gulch? Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? There's a real honest-to-goodness ghost town near here. No way. Have you been there? Yep. And even though I went by myself, <sighs> I'm pretty sure I wasn't Excuse alone. Me? What do you mean? I saw something that what? makes me think bank robbers from Denver may be hiding bank out there. Bank robbers from Denver? From Denver? That's the first time I've said that out loud. It does sound kind of nuts, doesn't it? You saw what you saw? How hot did you say it was down there? I don't know. Somewhere in the 90s, I guess. Maybe in the hundreds? So there you were, traipsing around a ghost town in 100 degree heat. I really don't think she was hallucinating, Joe. It was just a thought. Any hint as to what that riddle I found in the piano means? Let's see. If I were the BDI's ranch, where would I be? Maybe it would help if you tried looking at things in a brand new way. What does that mean? Maybe it would help if you tried looking at things in a brand new way. A brand new way. Catch you later. See you, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. Am I, am I dumb? Am I stupid? What do they mean by that? In a brand new way. Oh. Branding. Got you. Hello? Hi, Aunt Bet. I forgot to ask you before how Uncle Ed was doing. Well, he definitely has some kind of infection. Ooh. I'm fine. So they've got him on antibiotics. We'll be here at least two more days. Are you aware that there's a secret door behind the bookcase in the den? No. Oh, my, you really are quite the detective. How did you discover that? Well, actually, it's a long story. What do you know about Dirk Valentine? Never heard of him. Do you know a Dirk Valentine? Isn't he that outlaw guy Shorty was carrying on about the night I got bit? He's supposed to have hidden a treasure somewhere around here. This is the first I've heard about it. It could be why someone is trying to chase you off the ranch. 
Dirk Valentine. Sounds like a character from a Charlena Purcell novel. As it turns out, I talked to Charlena Purcell recently. Really? Charlena. About what? About Shadow Ranch, actually, and about Dirk Valentine. She's done quite a bit of research on him. He was in love with Francis Humber, you know. Oh, my gosh. You mean Charlena Purcell is going to write a book that takes place on our ranch? She's still my palpitating heart. <laughs> and you tell her she's welcome to visit Shadow Ranch and do all the research she wants anytime she wants. Don't I get some say in this? No. I noticed a letter no. in the roll top desk from someone named Jane Nash. Oh, yes. She worked for us back in Phoenix, and we still own the clothing store. Unfortunately, she turned out to be totally unreliable, and we had to let her go. Her letter sounded almost threatening. Oh, she's harmless. Part of her problem was that she was all talk and no show. It was Ed's idea to hire her. She was a good salesperson. She was just not a very good person. Person. <laughs> <laughs> Has Tex ever said anything to you about her? About Jane? No, why would he? Uh, I just wondered, that's all. She had an ex-husband or two, as I recall. Very unstable emotionally. Damn. Then how can you be so Call sure she out. won't do something to get back at you? For the same reason we fired her, dear. She's too lazy. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Call us any time. Damn. Bet. What are those wrong? Hi, can I help you with something? Oh, I'd like nice. to recreate the beadwork that was on this bag. Only it looks like I need a lot of different beads. Beads, huh? Let me see what I can do. While I do this for you, why don't oh. you finish that display for me? The one behind you. Sounds good. Sure. <gasps> Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Sort rings by color and pattern. Arrange sizes from smallest to largest, from left to right. Sort rings by color and pattern? What? Uh, okay. I do not remember this at all. I guess we'll just get the colors first. And then we'll go back through and rearrange them. By size. Oh, it tells you their size as well on the back of them. I guess I could be doing it at the same time. Okay. Small is the moon. Extra small. So rings by color and pattern. Arrange sizes from smallest to largest, from left to right. Okay. So there's going to be three of each, and triangle, extra large, check mark, large, another triangle, like that. That's the same. Here, let's just, let's do it for the green. We'll do that. Missing a green. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why these are right here. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. Okay. <clears throat> that goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. That's the big triangle. Check mark. Moon. Okay, that's right. Medium, extra large, and small. Small, medium, extra large. Okay, then those go here. The these go here. Those go there. Okay, that's green is all sorted. Extra large. Medium, medium, 
butterflies, small, large, medium, large, large, medium, uh, extra large, large, large. Okay, that should be it for green, right? Small, medium, large, large, okay. So then red, small, medium, extra small, okay. Do that, do that, do that, do that. I have recently been watching all of the Harry Potter movies for the first time in my life. They've been very, um, been very fun to watch. Very, very interesting. Some of it doesn't make sense to me, but I like to pick on small details in movies and make fun of them. I personally don't believe it ruins the experience. I really enjoy it, but it does for other people sometimes. So I try and shut my mouth. Large, extra large, extra large. Medium, extra small, extra small. Extra, extra large. Extra large, medium. All right. And then let's get the pattern straight. We'll go from bottom to top with this one. Shake it up a little bit. Uh, okay. That. Am I missing one? I'm blind. Small, medium. Extra small, small, medium, excuse me, small, small, medium, large, large, extra large, uh, medium, large, 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 extra small, extra large. That's right, right? Oh lord, we have to go back through and check every single one. Which one did I not do right? I mean sizes from smallest to largest. From left to right. So smallest on the left. Largest on the right. Extra small. Large. Extra large. 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 Medium. Large. Large. Extra, extra large. Small. Small. Medium. Patterns are all matching. Extra small. Small. Medium. Small. Small. Medium. Small. Medium. Medium. I'm scared to back out and be like, hey, can you check it for me? Because I don't want it to all reset. Small. Medium. Extra, extra large. Small, small. No, no, no. Okay, I was about to freak out again and be like, am I supposed to? But no, I don't think so. Large, large. For some reason, my brain was like, you have to arrange it. Do you have to arrange it across the entire row? No, that wouldn't make sense. Because they still have to be in the same color groups. Right? Yeah, so it rings by coloring pattern. Large, large. Extra large. Large. Extra large. Extra large. Extra small. Extra small. Medium, extra large, extra, extra large. I think everything's right. I'm very scared. Large, large, extra, extra large. Medium, large, large. Small. Medium, large. Medium, medium, extra, extra large. Extra, extra large. Er, extra. <gasps> okay. There. Okay. That looks right. Thank God. I was starting to get very, very scared the further I went. All right. Can we have the beads now, please? Hi. I finished that display for you. Any luck finding those beads? Here. Try these. Thank you. Great, thanks. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Now here comes the next question. Am I actually gonna have to 
do this by hand. Oh, wow, I have to read the pattern. That's crazy. I gotta read the pattern. Let's just take Bob back to Shadow Ranch while we try and get this sorted out. I don't know how to read patterns. I don't know how to read, like, bead embroidery patterns. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. We'll do it right beside Bob. So we can see him, or know that he's with us. Okay. Bead pattern. Back up. Bead pattern. Beads required. Red, black, white, yellow. Right down, damn bead pattern. Red, black, white, yellow. Black with red corners. Black with red corners. Red with pink corners. Oh, wow, so cute. Red, black, white, yellow. Anybody here do bead patterns like this? It's black with red corners. And then that's red with pink corners. So the pattern is yellow one. Yellow one. Black. Black with red corners. Repeat four times. Red, white, red, red with pink corners. That's four times. And then so in spiral. Alright, let's see how bad we mess this up. Very exciting. Excuse me. So red, black, white, yellow, red with pink corners black with red corners. Okay. Do one. Oh no. Oh no. Do this four times. Black. Black with one. Two. Three. Four. And then red, white, red, red with pink corners, red, white, red, red with pink corners. Red, red, white, red. Okay. Red with pink corners. Red. White, red, red with pink corners. One more. Red, white, red. Perfect. Oh, wow. Okay. That, that flower looks kind of like a poppy. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. You get poppy from that? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Okay, what did that prove to us? Nothing? Need something. Talk to you later. Yahoo. What did the bag have to do with anything? Catch you Why later. Why do we have to restore you, that? Right on, cowgirl. I don't even remember where I got the bag at this point. So are we just supposed to know that it's a poppy of some sort? When it was new, that beaded purse, I found another flower that looked kind of like a poppy on it. The crackers Francis used to eat at Cappy's with Dirk were called sunflower crackers. Interesting. Oh. Wow, well, I don't think I have anything that can go there. <laughs> Beady Eyes Ranch. Is it one of these things that we've been seeing? Like, I'm really starting to like get the suspicion that it has been right in front of my eyes this entire time. Beady Eyes. Okay. I'll bet Dirk Custom made this, which means I better not go messing around in there. Okay. The shape of this box looks familiar. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, Nancy. This 
outline reminds me of something. I know that's right, girl. Okay, wow. That took forever. Crank. Pedia's Ranch. Flowers on your favorites. Daisy, poppy, lily, Harrison's yellow, sunflower. Are we supposed to spell something? Oh. Fran. Sis. How sweet. Jesus. What broke? Now go and peek beneath zebra rock and a tractor of metal what's there will unlock. <laughs> All right, so are we collecting this? No, we're not. I'm going to write this entire thing down. That's probably over where that rattlesnake is. And I don't have a magnet, I don't think. Well, he's probably still there anyway, but I need to check out and see. Are you still here, Mr. Snake? Yep, you're still here. We'll find it soon. Let's go back to Shadow Ranch. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's evening. That means good things. Oops. Dave said to wear gloves. Alrighty. Pets must have turned the horses out for the night. Excuse me. We are looking for a, um... Oh, wow. We're looking for a magnet of some sort. That doesn't go there. Okay. That doesn't go there. Is it not? That doesn't look right. Okay, Nancy. That doesn't go there. Nice. We actually got one. Okay. That doesn't look right. I love how she forces you to stop like everything that you're doing. Kind of scared me. Whatever the fuck was mewing in the background. That doesn't look right. Okay, Nancy. That doesn't go there. Nancy, please. Help me. This goes here. Okay, okay. We're on a roll. One of one. That doesn't go there. Are you sure, Nancy? It looks so good, though. Nice. This goes here. Nice. That doesn't nope. look right. We'll come back to that one. Nice. This goes here. Nice.
This goes here. That looks right. Nice. There. Easy. Sorry, coyotes. No Easy. chicken dinner for you tonight. Oh my gosh, my gloves. They're glowing. Uh -oh. That powder in the ghost town. <gasps> it's him. It's the phantom horse. <laughs> Nancy just blows up. Oh, wow. You saw the phantom horse again? Was anything sabotaged? The power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house. You mean you don't have electricity? We have a generator. It's pretty noisy, but it sure beats the alternative. But listen to this. When I was exploring the ghost town, I got this powdery stuff all over my gloves. And last night, when it was dark, my gloves were glowing. Glowing? Like the horse? Exactly like the horse. Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. And another thing, Dave was suspiciously absent during all the excitement last night. You better be careful, Nancy. If he and whoever's out at the ghost town are working together, they may decide you're a threat. It'd sure be nice if you two were here with me. <coughs> well, the fog has finally lifted, and they say we will definitely get out of here today. What they won't say is when. It looks like I'm going to need a magnet. Any oh, chances from the to fridge. where I might find one Idiot. around here? I bet if you just go to the kitchen and chill for a while, you'll find one. All you have to do is stick to it. That's it for now. Two words, Nancy. Call us. They're so cryptic. You don't have to be so cryptic. Yay. Alright. It's time Nancy, to make our rounds. I figured after last night you'd be long gone. I know I would be if I were you. When the power company turned off the power, did they say when they'd be out to fix the lines? No. They had no idea when they'd be able to send somebody out here. And if that generator goes, I could be cooking in the dark for days. Weeks. Well, not weeks, because no way am I staying here that long. I'm so freaked out now, I'm not sure I can last one more day. You can't leave, Shorty. That's exactly what whoever's behind all these accidents wants. Listen to you. Cool, calm, optimistic. I'm a wreck and you're a rock. Of course, you're also dead wrong and totally deluded, but I'm still impressed. Jesus Christ, Shorty. Want me to do anything before I go riding? Same old, same old. Ugh. If you bring me all the ripe stuff from the garden, I'll give you a basket okay, to fill up okay. with eggs. And once you're done with that, you'll be good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Well, let's hit it. That horseshoe wasn't there before. Maybe the ghost horse threw it while it was running away last night. Interesting. Let's get our vegetables. No Romanos, no old ivory eggs. A lot of northern lights. Right? Five colored, yeah. Okay. Beef steak. Golden queen. I never write it down, but I think those are it. And then black turtle. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Get those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. I know that's right. Now, if you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Cook with like the same four vegetables all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can find more eggs than that. You bet I oh, can. Lord. Here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, there we I go. better get going. Come back soon. Okay, we can go to Zebra Rock now. It takes. Need something? I found a horseshoe outside that wasn't there yesterday. I was thinking that maybe the phantom horse threw it. It's got a rock wedged in it. So it does. 
Looks like the kind of rock you'd find out by the ghost town. I've been to the ghost town, but I didn't see any horse. I'm just telling you what I know. You don't want to hear what I got to say, then quit asking me stuff. Damn. When was the last time you were there? A okay. couple of weeks, I guess. Ain't no hurry to go back, I can tell you that. What do you mean? Why not? Last time I was out there, my horse acted real strange. Even tried to throw me. Was like he saw something I couldn't, something he didn't like. Something that was telling him to stay away. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. I took a bridle apart, oiled the pieces, and left them in that can on the shelf. You can't ride till you get the bridle Ugh. put back together right. I put the bit next to the can. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Okay. Okay, there's the headstall. Now, let's see. I don't know how a bridle works. Uh, uh, uh <laughs> I don't know. Click together if it's right. That looks right. There we go. Okay. That looks right. There we go. Put that right there. Nope. 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 That looks right. Oh, wow. It's like a me issue. Okay. It goes like that. I'm getting there. This goes here. I'm getting there. That looks right. Damn it, man. Where is another one? I cannot see. Yeah, it looks like it just hangs from... It hangs off that thing. Look, it's just connected to the thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're hooked at the same part. They're hooked onto the same thing. This goes that, here. That, that looks right. And then that looks oh, right. Oh, wow! I tried that. That looks right. That looks right. That's so incredibly frustrating. I tried that. I tried all of this. Perfect. 
That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. Need something? I put that bridal back together. Now may I go riding? Yep. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. We're starting at our three minute mark or three hour mark. I guess we can go ahead and do the zebra rock thing. Since it took us so long to do all of that. It's time to head. It's time to head out to the zebra rock. Come on, Bob. <laughs> and away we go. Are you still here, Mr. Rattlesnake? No, you're not. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Bethel. Little piece dropped. Oh, wow. Iron, magnesium, copper, and I don't know what that size. But What a strange puzzle. Well, this is definitely a puzzle. I kind of want to go ahead and leave it here because I got to do some, I got to figure out what the colors are anyway. I don't think this is the agate that copper produces, so. We will go ahead and end it here, probably. Um, uh, we got that stupid puzzle with the magnet. That's what we were doing last. Oh, lord. We need to figure out the color of agate. Like, what the mineral that changes the color is. I'm sure there's a signal at Mary's place. Takes four ingredients, wood, water, mud, and thyme. Iron oxidizes and causes the orange, rust red, and yellow hues, uh, while copper produces green and blue, manganese in pink and purple, and then finally silica produces white and gray. I thought we would have to look it up on the phone. I think we're getting pretty close to the end. Iron is rust, copper green, manganese pink, and silica is white. I guess we'll start with silica. So for anybody who doesn't know what's going on, we're currently using a magnet to move these pieces through a maze. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but possibly somebody doesn't know. And of course, like we can't see, it doesn't, doesn't take anywhere where I need to go. We can't see most of the actual board. Where we go? There it is. Oh my god. Please. It's not like a hook. I guess so. <laughs> oh, this one is not a good puzzle. This is a bit annoying. No. Oh, okay. Nice. Silica. We'll do the manganese. Hmm. It appears there's no way to go from here, Potter. Please, please, please. Thank you. So how to get to copper? Okay. Write that down. Write that down. Gotta remember that. Is it really fully cut off over here? No, oh, just a silly little hen. Is that a dead end? No. Okay. So that's how I will get to that rusty colors. Maybe. Okay, is this cut off here? I think it is. We're just moving this one all across the board. Nice. Take a rope. 
Mm. Mm. Nice, okay. Uh, copper, I think it was down this way, right? Or not copper, iron, sorry. I need to go to the orange one. I feel like it was this way. <laughs> uh, amazing gameplay. Am I stupid? This is killing my eyes. Jesus. Ugh. Sorry. It's just burning my retinas trying to look at this. Justin forgets when to blink. I guess I wrapped up in it. Oh, did I find it? No? 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 Okay. Okay. Does it just go up and that's it? I don't know how that uh, did that, but I'll take it. Let me get her all the way across the board. Okay. I completely forgot this side of the board. Let me go. I thought I went like. Oh, now it wants to go down. Heard. That's how I get to that. Isn't there another way this way? No. Is that just to get to silica? Any optometrists in the chat can tell me why this is burning my retina so incredibly bad. Is it like I'm sitting too close to the TV screen or something? Also, I'm playing this in a very small window. I'm sure that if it was full size, it wouldn't be as bad. I really want to click like, restart because I've kind of lost myself over here. But I know that it would re reset the whole thing. That's the last thing I want to do. Okay. Okay. Can I go down? No. 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 Okay, right here. What's a dead end? Okay, go down. Okay, we're down now. Okay, that doesn't do anything. We're locked there. I feel like I tried everywhere over here, though. I don't know why I'm back over here. Would Francis struggle with this? Do you think Francis would struggle doing all of this just to get the treasure? I guess I could have been mapping it, but I didn't think it would be that serious. How did I get over on this side? Didn't copper? No, the copper started down here. Go that way. Stops, 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 stops. Okay, randomly lets me go this time. Is that just to get it up here? It is. I thought I was onto something with that. Oh, I didn't know this was over here. Unless I'm brain dead. Probably brain dead. Okay. Please. Give me something else for my eyes to look at. Please, we're so close. It's gonna be up this way and then down. We did it. Finally. Something else for my eyes to look at. Oh, okay. Oh! This is the flowers. But I don't know the order. Oh wow. Harrison's yellow, daisy, sunflower, poppy, lily. Do I just need those up here? Or is it in a specific order? Harrison's yellow. Daisy, sunflower, poppy, lily, and other six. Was there another flower that I missed? What was the flower that was on the cake? Oh, that one. Daisy, sunflower. I think that one's the Harrison's yellow. A lily. That's a lily. Looks like a secret compartment. I didn't think that I'd be able to do that, honestly. If you hope this task to ever complete, you must wind her up so she'll move her feet. 
You must wind her up so she'll move her feet. Hmm. I don't have anything to do that with, I don't think. Where could I get a wind up key? Wind her up to move her feet. <laughs> I'm sure we don't need this road down, but I'm gonna do it. Hi, can I help you with something? It was no, great talking you to can't you. actually. And to think, I actually thought that you would have a wind up key. That just shows my ignorance. Mary Yahtzee, if I can even call you that. Hey, Bess, what are y'all up to? Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? It's me. We're gonna wait a minute on the now. asking for, for the hint. Miss Charlena, do you have anything to say to us? Do you know about a wind-up dancer? Hello, Nancy. What's oh. the latest? Talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. So about that wind-up key. It's me. So what's going on there? I need a hint when it comes to winding up the dancer that's inside the music box. My guess is you need a key. Maybe where to find it has something to do with the message Dirk said he'd leave in the jail cell. Good thought. Going back there might unlock all sorts of possibilities. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. How are we going to get in there though? How are we going to get into a cell? It was locked. Well, Bob, we're hitting the dusty road again. Okay. Anything different? Nope. Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. <laughs> Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. Well, thanks, Bess. I'm here, and now what? Let's use a key. Wow. You're telling me a key didn't work? On the locked door? Come on now. Any changes in here? Maybe this is hey. the key to the jail cell. Interesting. <gasps> oh, wow, that scared me. I'm in the jail cell. <laughs> Maybe this is the key to the jail cell. I'm in the jail cell. I have enough of those. Bricks? Okay. Uh I'm locked in. I'll bet that's the key. <laughs> what? You gotta throw it a certain angle? I don't know. Like that? Oh no! Now I'm gonna be stuck. <laughs> it didn't even finish. Okay, so I guess we have to hit it a little harder. Oh. <laughs> That is hilarious. I don't know why that's so funny to me. I don't know Nancy like that. <laughs> How does that work? I was really wop it. Oh well, okay. I have enough of those. Okay, like that. We'll do. The... Okay, <laughs> that was the same exact throw. I don't think there's anything to gain from that. I think I already did that. I wish we could just run out of uh, breaks. And so that's another second chance. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, this is probably, that's probably why it never, I couldn't do it yet. What's that, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. I'm really gonna have to write out the entire alphabet right now, aren't I? Oh, so far, so good. 
I did that the first time. I clicked enter. 5, 10, 14. Mm. Oh, is that under? I'm getting there. Under. P A 5, 10, 14. 5, 10, 11. K. 5, 10, 12. K. Very good. Bank. Five, ten, thirteen. Lamp. Under bank lamp. Nice. Okay. And now I bet the this throw will work now. Oh no! Now I'm going to be stuck. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh no! Now I'm going to be stuck. She's so aghast at what the situation has turned into. Okay, so is it a me thing? Okay, it's a me thing. Got you, got you, got you. <laughs> Nancy's cracked! <laughs> She's fucking crazy! I have enough of those. Do we have to rope that? Are we roping the key right now? Is that what's happening? Are we gonna pull the chair closer to us? Come to mama. Oh. Okay, Nancy. Let's calm down a little bit. Whoever clobbered me must have dropped this. To hide a message, oh, take wow. the last two letters of a word, reverse them, and then add them to the start of the word. Use these pictures in place of the word. Anyone talks about this, they get a load of buckshot. They get a load of buckshot? Dirt, come on now. Let's go to found in the cellar works great. Let's use it. It says, we'll need more supplies if house is not soon. Check book. Mesa again Dirk GI okay so this is we'll need more supplies if ranch is not soon checked it if under sheriff Nose. Something under sheriff's nose. Okay. Under. Under what lamp? Under bank lamp. Where is the bank? It's a general store. Post office. Sheriff. Store. Is this a bank, technically? I guess so. Under bank lamp. Oh. There's a letter down there. Did you know you can play some games more than one way? You can, and I'll tell you how. Use the ring that's the twin of Ellie's your cousin in Cappy's fun machine now. Did you know you can play some games more than one way? You can, I'll tell you how. Use a ring that's a twin of Ellie's, your cousin. The ring that's a twin of Ellie's, your cousin. And Gabby's fun machine now. We don't have... Do we have a ring? Use the ring. That's interesting. Something goes here. Am I gonna have to play the stupid chicken game again? I think I am. Oh wow. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get that out of the way, I guess, while I try and figure out what they mean about Ellie's cousin. 
goodness gravy. Well, at least that one didn't take me like 10 minutes like the first time did. Sure be nice if these were good for something. Nancy, you know what they are used for. Why do you keep saying that? Dave, may I see that letter again? Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? Oh, we need to in interrogate everybody about if they were at the ghost town or not now. Did your great aunt, by any chance, leave you a ring? Sure did. It was her most prized possession. In fact, I got it right here. Seems to me Aunt Ellie said Francis had one just like it. I keep it on me for good luck. I know this is a lot to ask, but do you think I could borrow it for a while? Borrow it? What for? It's kind of a That's better story. than being like, just oh, I don't know. It, okay? Last time I was in the ghost town, somebody clobbered me over the head and locked me up in the old jail. That's terrible. Did you see who did it? No, I never got a look at him, or her, or them, or whatever. You shouldn't go there anymore, Nancy. The train's Something going bad's by. Something bad's obviously going on, and you should just stay away. And call the sheriff, of course. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? He said hey to us. What do we have to lose, really? I guess, yeah, we would have to play another game of Roadrunner, but, um... What did we do to it? Did we just, like, NFC tap it? Make the nicest, sweetest, and most pleasant friends and win. Hmm. Okay. Big. Ah, uh, this is this is a tight one. Nice. Nice. Huge. First try, baby. First try. What's that key for? Oh, it's a wind up key. What's that key for? Nice. On the paper you got when you first began, draw lines between the pictures shown here. If you draw them in order, you'll find something you need behind the picture that you make appear. Okay. okay. Let's see. On the paper you got when you first began, draw lines between... Draw lines between the pictures shown here. And then we have... Swirly. And then we have a bunch of X's. And then we have another sun. We have the Super Mario Sunshine sun. And then we have some people dancing. Ooh. You're hitting it. Sorry, that was such a long bit. All right. We need boom, 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 bird, sun, uh, millipede guy, that, X's. Mario Sunshine and Dancing People. V for Valentine, no doubt. That doesn't help us, Dirk. Didn't he say like it'll show you what you need? Dirk, how does this just help us? Behind the picture you make appear. I mean. I might find something up here now that we looked. Oh wow, I thought I thought I had I had it right on. Missed. Am I tripping? That was a smooth lariat. Okay, that one wasn't. This one's really fast. 
Okay. Oh. That one was just like me trying to be preemptive. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. It was easy. I don't know why anybody bothered. Oh. At Charlie's grave, hold this up, look around, and you'll see the trail to a gift to you from me. Hold this up, look around, and you'll see the trail to a gift to it's you from luck. me. Ah. I'm so sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean to cut you off. Please don't be mad at me. This thing is just too scuffed up. Maybe I can get it polished somewhere. This thing is just too scuffed up. Maybe I can get it polished somewhere. This thing is just okay. too scuffed up. I'm trying Maybe to back I can out. Get it polished somewhere. Where could we get it polished? Mariazzi? Hi, can I help you with something? I found this piece of rock in the desert. I'd really like to get the scuff marks off of it. Looks like it's been polished before. If I put it in the polisher, it'll buff up in no time. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> They're really polishing that thing. Agate. Great, thanks, Mary. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Hello? We're booked on a flight to Phoenix. Nice. All right. The bad news is the flight's been delayed. Here we go again. Here we go the again. The plane that's supposed to fly us out of here is sitting on a tarmac in New Jersey waiting to take off. It's like 93rd in line or something. Oh my god. So what are you doing, Nance? Have you figured out who's behind the sabotage yet? Not yet, but I think I am getting close to finding Dirk Valentine's treasure. All I have to do is go where the picture on this agate takes me and I'll be all set. The picture on this what? It's a long story. I'm tempted to ask you to wait until George and I get there, but I know that would be like asking an Olympic speed skater to slow down. Just be prepared to tell us all about it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Is this it? Have we almost beat the game? I'm wondering if we should go back to the ranch. No, it ain't that. It ain't that serious. I'll do one thing really quick. Drop that down. Alrighty. Okay. Oh. That tree looks just like the one on the agate. I think I'll grab Bob and head out in that direction. Oh wow. Oh. Cliff dwellings. Oh wow. Oh wow. Now how am I going to get up there? Hmm. How do you think, Nancy? We're gonna yippee ki yay it. First try. -y. Yes. Ancient cliff dwellings. Awesome. Dude. Brown, lime, oh wow. <coughs> Go ahead and write this down. Brown, lime. It's, there's symbols. I'm 
Should have had those wrote down already. Blue, yellow, red. Okay, brown line. Yellow, red, blue, orange, lime, yellow, brown, this is brown, and then blue, lime, orange, blue, brown, Orange, blue, brown, lime, orange, <laughs> uh, what's that? Red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. Lime, uh, what is that? Blue. Lime, brown, yellow. All right. Okay, so that's what it's for. Brown, lime. Oh wow, there's stuff to find in the pots too. Brown lime, yellow. Yellow. Red. Red. I think this is the end of the game. Brown. Yellow, brown, blue. Lime. Orange. Blue. Brown. Blue, brown, lime, orange, red. Lime, orange. Is that what I just went through? Lime, orange, red? So it's yellow, blue, lime? No. I messed up. Orange. Red. There's supposed to be a yellow. I better put that back or I could get really lost. Okay. I messed up somewhere. Brown. Blue. Brown. Um, blue, orange, lime. Okay, no, I was on the right track. Orange, blue, brown, lime, orange, red. It's supposed to be yellow. I mean, but it's blue. I might as well go through it. I might have... Mess those two up. Blue. Yellow. Lime. Blue. Lime. Brown. Okay. 
yellow. I didn't find all of them. I need more keys. Yeah. I need more keys. Yeah, Nancy, we need more keys. Dude, okay. Well, just let the click fest begin, I guess. This literal maze. Okay, there's one. Yikes! Falling down there would not be fun. Damn. Watch it in there. Oh, the dead end. I don't want to hide behind me. I need one more. Okay, I can't check the pot. I'm kind of keeping track of where I am. I'm visualizing the space. I don't really believe it would be this far back, though. That's the only thing that's kind of scaring me. I feel like I've seen it. Yellow. Was it that? No. There's a lot of things at the entrance. Please? Okay, no. This is huge! I don't remember <laughs> this ending. This is crazy. Oh, there's a pot right there. Please. I'm sorry if I'm anybody sick. Is this back to the main hall? It is. I think there's another pot right here. Nothing in that. Alright, nice. Alright, now I just need to find my way back. That way. That way. That way. This is amazing. I, I completely forgot there was an entire puzzle to this. I don't think there's any reason to try and... Okay, maybe there's a little bit of reason. Do you not go through the orange? you go through yellow? Yeah, okay, so it's yellow, red. So now blue. Oh, blue. Orange. Lime. Yellow. Brown. Blue. Lime. Orange. Blue. Brown. Lime. Orange. Red. Blue. Yellow. Lime. Blue. Lime. Brown and then yellow. That doesn't go there. I know, Nancy. This goes here. This goes here. That looks right. This goes here. That looks right. Oh, that was the puzzle? Okay. Francis and Valentine. Or, yeah, Francis and Dirk. Oh wow, he's got it all. There it is. He's got it Dirk all set Valentine's up. Treasure. Solid gold hearts. Wow. Oh. Beautiful. Take some of it, Nancy. There's no like sentimental letter or anything. Uh oh. Why, hello, Nancy. Oh wow. Find the treasure yet? So you're the one who's been sabotaging the ranch. That's right. Here, my buddies and I went to all that trouble, wrangling that horse, busting that pipe. Cutting those wires trying to scare people off the ranch so we could tear the place apart looking for the treasure. When all we really had to do was what I just got done doing. Follow you. You went to a lot of trouble for nothing. The treasure's gone. Well, now I don't believe you, Miss Nancy. Oh, and by the way, it's too far to make it back to the ranch without a horse, and I just ran yours off. Which means you, to use an old cooking expression, are toast. Ooh. That's what you think. Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. So, ready or not, here I come. Oh, wow. What are we gonna do? There's gotta be a way to stop Shorty. Think! I'm getting close! There's that, um... Just went through another door, Nancy! There's this. So if we change green for red. Four? Damn. You are hoofing it, my brother. There. Now I better hide. Last door. 
After I get the treasure, I'll deal with you. Whoa! You switched door markers on me, didn't you? That was downright mean, Nancy. I could have hurt myself. <laughs> the least you can do is help me off of here. How about it? Nah, I think I'll go get the sheriff and let him help you off of there. I know Dear that's Hannah, right. It turns out that Shorty had ridden to the cliff dwellings on the Phantom Horse, which was really just a trick horse that a friend of one of his bank robber buddies had trained. Since my horse was gone and it was getting dark, I wound up riding it back to the ranch so I could call <laughs> the sheriff. You should have seen the look on everyone's face when I rode up on a glowing horse. It looks like the phosphorescent powder that they used to make it glow was harmless, but Tex is taking care of the horse until he's sure it's okay. Mary Yazzie has straightened everything out with the Rollies, and now she comes over a lot, mostly to see Tex. He turns hey red whenever she's around. It's actually kind of cute. Speaking of cute, Dave confessed to the Rollies as soon as they got home from the hospital, just like he said he would. They not only forgave him, they even offered to split the treasure with him if it turns out they can keep it. Sheriff Hernandez is looking into it. The best part is, Bess and George finally got here, and we've been having a ball. Nice. Here's a picture of the three of us on our horses. Unfortunately, Dave <laughs> took it. Guess he didn't realize his finger was over the lens. Oh, wow. <laughs> See you in a couple of days. Love, Nancy. P.S. I started reading the Charlene Purcell novel Aunt Bet has, and you know what? I can't put it down. <laughs> Yay! What a good game. Hey, sassy detective. Congratulations on solving the Secret of Shadow case, er, the Secret of Shadow Ranch case. Dave and Tex got together and decided to nickname you Raider? Riding and roping for barrel bending, sawhorse roping, and lariat tossing. Okay, thank you. Ooh. Oh, wow. If dreams can come true. What about curses? Well, in my next mystery adventure, you can find out for yourself, if you dare. Ooh. I've been invited to a creepy old castle in England to find out who or what is terrorizing its residents. Ooh. Could it be that the spirit of a centuries-old witch has returned to seek revenge? And why, after 300 years, has the Beast of Blackmoor returned to prowl the moors again? The answers to these and many other dark secrets will be uncovered in my next case. The Curse, Curse of, of Blackmore Manor. Manor. Ooh. They didn't have a title or anything ready for that. They were like, just ship it, ship it. And they got, got a little laugh in the background too. What a good game that was. I hope you guys enjoyed playing it with me as much as I enjoyed playing it for you or with you. Yeah, this was really good. It was good to look back on. What happens if he gets to you? Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. So, ready or not, here I come. I'm getting close. Uh, I don't know what to do. What if I change like you this one? Door, oh, I can't. I can only do that. That's so stupid. Went through another one. Only Here's Shorty. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that at all. That is so funny. Oh, that's so crazy to see. I don't feel like I've ever seen that. That is so funny. So that's a uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch. It was a uh, very good to look back on and everything. Very enjoyable. Um, I still, I still really love that game. Yeah, I guess I'll just end it here then. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>